was. I already I'm did. I'm already <laughs> dead. You can't hurt me. Real. I can kill you again. There's I'm going to kill you, and then kill you again. So does Hack already have his backup character set up? <laughs> Basically. Yes. However, he's about him and essentially this entire party is about to find out a very special thing this session. Yes. But you cannot yep. die. Is well, this, is this special thing something quite. to do with the boss that we're about to go kick teeth in on? Which one? I mean, what? <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> is it that the corpses of dead creatures in this place get absorbed by the city itself and become robots? That's <laughs> actually really cool. And that... possibly scribbles. I mean, y'all do know how Warforged are made, right? Uh, it depends uh, on the lore of each individual setting. <laughs> uh, no. No. All Warforged share one thing. Or at least they're They're made to. from dead bodies? No. Dead souls? Mm, kind of. Close enough. It's a soul without a body that's shoved into a new body, basically. That is that is what they're supposed Isn't to that be. Isn't literally in just what reincarnate setting. does? Kind of. You would think so. No, reincarnate creates a body for you uh, that is randomly generated. Yeah. Which okay, is weird so because you can get the same rate, and then you shove the soul in it. But you'll be a different person. Like your gender might change, your hair color might change, your physique might change. Like you'll your race might change, meaning it's... different racial benefits. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, or penalties. <laughs> Which is why the discussion must be made. Do certain characters wear a do not reincarnate bracelet? <laughs> one, uh, re reincarnation slash revival magic is very high level, so there's probably no one who would mm. be prepared to be revived. But like in a high level adventuring party. I mean, as of right again, now. The party, the, you could talk about, amongst your party about that, but like no random cleric's going to walk by and resuscitate you. <laughs> Yeah. Let's see. Who are we missing? We are missing Crow. That's not surprising. And Rowan. <laughs> Bro really is late to his second session. His first, the first session I was leading it because he had to take care of something. This one I am not not leading it. And apparently he's changing his class to cleric. <laughs> so I don't really see why, but okay. Because yeah, we don't we're have we're a healer. Yeah. If if last this combat showed thing. anything, if last combat showed anything, hack, is that you guys are in desperate need of a healer. Kuro can't save you it's all totally from everything. <laughs> that was I can I can hit shit, it. but it's gonna take me a second while you're dying. <laughs> he only has one attack. Remember that. Yep. <laughs> it's not level Which six. That, that reminds me. Uh, <laughs> GC, I am I am keeping my next level a secret from you until I do it. <laughs> it better be spiders. So you can get your extra attack. Oh yeah, isn't there Squids. a high chance we can get to level six today? Potentially, yes. Mm -hmm. Oh god damn it! I should have set that up before. That son of a bitch! I knew I was gonna do that. I mean, are you multi-classing or are you single-classing? If single-classing is pretty simple. No, no, no. The problem is, is that uh, secret, secret, secret tunnel. <laughs> Tax time. How much money do I owe? Secret. Just <laughs> yes. Too much. The answer's too much. Someone got the joke. Just guess. Five hundred dollars? Jail. Someone <laughs> <laughs> please tell me I'm booab ready. Fucking love that video. <laughs> Jail. <laughs> Wob. <laughs> it's funny because taxes are awful. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Land of the free to pay taxes. Land of the free, free to, to not suck tell my you ass from the free. Uh, I should also point out we are in fact recording, so. Oh well, that that's a great that's a great time to, to mention that. Go better, I go say go that. <laughs> Look, look. I started recording when you, you were talking about the fuck. Suck I... my ass from the front. <laughs> Stop no, no. Hold, hold on. I hold on. I started recording when you were on the Muscle Man tangent. You know, I okay. started recording. <laughs> oh, I I'm sorry. In the, I was in the middle of a boss fight. I thought our game was like an hour later. You know who else was in the middle of a bus? Fight? I literally. There, the Discord has a scheduling thing that has all the times on it. Look at it, you 
Yeah, but no one pays attention to that because we're not yeah, but, cringe. But Bro literally pinged funny. you. No. The time zone. Bitch, are... what the fuck do you mean? I'm, I, liter <laughs> I literally use a bot that, that should show your time zone in it. No. Which is really no, cool. No, no, no. But so, okay, so, like, what's that, what's that thing? Specific, whatever the fuck they call it, happens sometimes where they adjust ours. Uh, all daylight these, savings. All these damn daylight things. savings. Yeah, that's been the the shit that's literally only the there to increase still productivity. Still tells you. Mm -hmm. <sighs> also, yeah, I the got... bot still adjusts that to your time, I, so you have I, I, you I don't have an excuse. No <laughs> excuses. Nobody Last looks. Last time we played this, it was at nine a.m. <laughs> what do you want from me? Uh, Skill issue. You. European you. issue. Real. Not European. Well, I mean. Well, well, close enough. Potato, no, potato. Well, you're the one non-European. <laughs> what do you mean the one non-European? I'm not European. Like do European, I sound French to you? Oh. Well, we ruins I... from the guy who died. <laughs> Speaking of which, <laughs> here is to piss the party off so they don't revive your character. Real. Well, speaking of which, <laughs> ru ruin. Ruin should hopefully arrive. I don't know where the heck he is. He'll probably be here. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Anyway, He's probably let's... busy looking at how overpowered cleric is. Let's start the session. Last time on Aww. ruins of Z uh, last time on ruins of Zanzibar, having heard the screams of many entities from the other room, all of you assuming to be the crystalline creatures you had seen beforehand. After successfully capturing the your second inmate. Mm -hmm. You all prepare for battle. <laughs> and what a battle it was, as Kuro the Giant, who was hasted at the time, Fucking started, <laughs> started cutting down minion after minion. Meanwhile, meanwhile, deeper, uh, back in the room that they had come from, uh, an old wizard had wandered into the ruins. <laughs> as he wandered through, he ran into a couple of these enemies himself. Specifically, two of them, two of the normal humanoid looking ones, and a large crystalline horse, which he did battle with. As the battle commenced yeah, in the, the other. horse is here. Ba Baylor, the old, wizard the old wizard fighter, could hear off in the distance various explplosions, <laughs> as in the other room, the party was just fucking up a bunch of low level minions and wrecking. Wrecking shop, as they say. <laughs> Eventually, they cleared out their horde and ran into where Baylor was. As they ran into where Baylor was, Baylor was about to finish off the horse before Kuro just ran in. A giant <laughs> as Baylor, oh as Baylor, ran in. <laughs> as Baylor, who, from Baylor's point of view, what he saw was around the corner a giant demonic form of a person just run at super speed towards him, and then cut down this horse that he was in battle with. <laughs> having introduced... Baylor having introduced himself to the party, saying he was also there to help to answer the call that Tobias had put out for adventurers. After doing this, they returned to the main room where they met Damocles, who informed them they only had one left to, do, to deal with. <laughs> As they did, uh, a Druragar walks into the room behind them. <laughs> Upon talking with the Druragar, he also was hired by... He also answered a call for Tobias. Barney, not really batting an eye at the fact that now they had a Druragar with them, decided to let him come along. Yeah, we're Druragar... not that racist. <laughs> <laughs> the Druragar... <laughs> Was able to also identify the last what exactly the last name name was. He said he stated it to be a Zerg, a deadly creature from the Underdark. I mean, from the Underrealm. I keep forgetting my own lore sometimes. <laughs> Real. A deadly creature from the Underrealm that, despite its deadly claws, had these had these spikes that could protrude from its back, shooting it out at people. That, as as his character put it, could fuck you up. <laughs> After that, 
The party then ventured forward to see if they could deal with this last inmate. Along the way, they were they were in another cell area where these flesh-like abominations with, with shark-like fins on their back were hiding, were hiding in the darkness of their cells. The power went out, and next thing the party knew, the cells had all, had all opened. As the cells opened, they did battle with these creatures. Evie being knocked unconscious. Evie being knocked unconscious during the battle. No one was able to. The party, lacking in various forms of healing, could not br bring him up in time as his life force unfortunately ended. After the battle, the party, the party, Kuro, very much bloodied and injured. They decided to return back to the main room. Hell. They decided to return back to the main room, carrying Evie in, back in, laying him on the table. His lifeless body now, cold, on the table. The party then decided to take, seeing as they had some form of protection being in this room, decided to take a, long, a much near long rest to then plan out their next choice of movement. Now, we return back to our game. However, we are not focused on the party. Evie, <laughs> we are focused Ooh, on you. <laughs> is dead. There are literal flies floating around his body. Real. Evie, Man, as I, hard. Evie, as I, as I move you over into a new map. <laughs> I didn't really know him. No sense. As the party is discussing, as the party is discussing, Evie, you find yourself in a dark room. Last thing you remember was being brought down, was being slashed across the chest by one of those flesh abominations. Oh well, goddamn! It looks like I was sort of right. There really is nothing after here. You'd be surprised, you hear Evie, as you say these words. As in front of you, a figure forms from the darkness. A large caped individual forms in front of you. Oh, hi, Death. <laughs> Sison. Scythe and hand and a skeletal face. He looks at you. <sighs> it seems one of your type has come to visit me again. Of course. What? Type of guy who doesn't believe in the afterlife? No. Far worse. An adventurer. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't blame you. Face death. <laughs> <That's Yeah. laughs> well... Time to do this old spiel again. As an adventurer, as you probably know just by now, I am Death. Or, as your people call me, Molars, the god of death. I... I, I ferry the dead to their resting places. And, well, unfortunately, you adventuring types, despite... Hmm, here's the thing. Every person in their life has an expiration date. Everyone will die eventually. However, you adventuring types tend to speed up that process with your own expiration dates far too often. And you always, through some magical means, seem to come back from death, which really, really gets annoying. So that's why I've just decided... So that's why, after a while, I decided, for you adventuring types, I offer a choice. <laughs> Three choices, in fact. Choice one, you can, you can, you can say your fallen battle, yada yada yada, whatever you want to call it, was good enough. You lived your life, and you can go to whatever, play to whatever afterlife you wish. Second option, you come back, but not as you are. You come back a bit more changed than usual. Third option, no, I'm you, good. 
Because knowing this sort of thing, you'll turn me into a human. Let me finish. Third option, you can come back, but as yourself. But the caveat is you have to do something for me. Above board, essentially what what Moore's is offering you, what all Monkey what all it, revival, a normal revival or death. Well, no. How Moore's operates in this, since adventurers have a very, very unique way of living. <laughs> he has decided he he basically has people make choices. He pretty much gives adventurers a choice for for this to bypass some very annoying things. These choices are you can die, go on to whatever afterlife you choose for yourself. You can come back as yourself, basically your basically your class, but you have to do something for him in return. The third option is you come back, but your class changes. Hmm. Interesting. Rune looking over at this with a knife in his hand. Not gonna lie, sounds kinda cringe. Just die. Yeah, it really is kind of cringe to come back and have to either serve you or just be entirely different. Seriously, knowing these sorts of things, there's always a catch to the deal anyway. And my catch will be I come back exactly the same, except now I'm a goddamn full human. Uh, my de- eh, the task I the tasks I usually give people, unlike most patrons, aren't really that devious. At most, given where you currently where you have currently perished i would have asked you to pretty much collect something for me but eh, again it's your choice i offer these choices to all adventurers and as usual and as usual i don't care which one you choose <laughs> well i am good if you couldn't tell based on what kind of person i am i clearly had some sort of death wish going into this place all Otherwise, you adventurers. I wouldn't have risked my life. All you adventurers have a death wish. But. No, but I quite literally. Not in the term of, oh, you must have a death wish. I quite literally wish for it. You see the skeletal figure shrug. Suit yourself. And he takes his Great. scythe. He takes his scythe and to, his, and to his side, he opens up a little portal. Evie. What would Evie. I mean, hack. What would Evie's afterlife look like? Just wants to see his family again. Nothing more. Yeah, before. Okay, through the portal, you see the familiar faces of your family. <sighs> there we go. He closes okay. his eyes and just walks forward. Okay. Evie has chosen the path of death. As we, re as we return back to the rest of the party. <laughs> you know, we never really knew him. Not bad. Never asked anything. <laughs> Just a funeral. There's a note in this pocket just saying, Don't you dare put me in a human coffin or else I will come back and haunt you. Real. I know a good uh, coffin maker. That we could uh, go to. Oh, um. That, that certainly would be useful. I mean, he's an, a nice human man. Uh, in one of the local towns. On my way here, I met him. I wonder if he had a will somewhere. Maybe we should look for it. Uh, well, I suppose we'll have to uh, do it on the return back. Uh, is... I'm not too. I'm not exactly sure if he want even wanted to live. I mean, we could probably find some sort of revival spell somewhere. Um, do, do we have nothing of uh, 
that, that can do that kind of thing. Bring a person back. Someone was talking earlier about a, a past adventure that was brought back. Am I, am I mistaken? She, she just shrugs. No, not, nothing that's without consequence or any consequence that's too dire. And I, I, again, I didn't really know him that much. We've only kind of worked together for a week. I'm not quite sure what to say. But he is dead. Yes. Flies have started to congregate. We should uh, maybe sort that out. Uh, I'll see you in my contacts if he, if he had any family to get his belongings back to. She, he did have a a sizable amount of money. We uh properly uh searched the body and got everything. Mun, do you, Mun, do you look down at the? One that was on his person. <laughs> there was also this cloak. If if anyone wanted a free displacer cloak, he did, he did have equipment. It's rather effective. If anyone would make use of it, those are company property, anyways. Not really his. Yeah, Bella walks over to the table, takes takes the stuff up. Uh, okay. Well, uh, Evie, what was on your person that the party could collect off your corpse? Besides, if I'm missing anything besides the wand. Randall and wand. Yes, a Randall wand. Randall wand with a cloak, and that's pretty much it of interest outside of the, the Tesla coil he left back upstairs. Okay. Oh, and yeah. most yeah. of his money is probably the fucking... I mean, shit, he's got... He literally has zero gold pieces on his person. Oh, you've been, you would have been paid, it's like 2k. <laughs> well, then there's 2k worth of gold somewhere. Yeah. Uh, yes. not on this man's body. Uh, yes, Baylor, you would find that he had a cloak of displacement, which in battle you would see, though it didn't help him much. It essentially casts a blur spell. <laughs> it's kind uh, of like blur, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Essentially, yeah, Baylor, I assume you uh, I assume you know what a Displacer's Cloak does. The Randall Wand, on the other hand, the Randall Wand uh, is it's a special little wand that essentially each day at dawn you roll a d7. Depending on which number you roll, you get... Essentially, the wand can cast a certain number of spells from... A certain school of magic. The you as a bonus action, you can change. You can roll a d6 to see what it changed to change it to a different school if you so choose. Uh, one moment, as I actually copy paste what the Randall Wands things are. As. Uh. Uh, Baylor, which sheet am I using? I, am I using the outdated one or the not outdated one? <laughs> no outdated one. Okay, just making sure. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hopefully you're not in there. Uh, as I add this to your inventory, hopefully you're not in your character sheet. I'm not in my character sheet. Okay. Not in your character sheet, as I add uh, this item. You can look at this. You can now uh, have exited your character sheet. Uh, on there, you'll see the Randall wand at the bottom of your items. It lists off all the spells you can use. Uh, I forget which color it was on. I believe it was Transmutation. <laughs> Is it random, the color? Uh, the color determ is determined by which school of magic it is. Okay. So yeah, it's still kind of mid. Looks at the and looks at necromancy, inflict wounds at will. Sure, pretty mid. <laughs> that one is not mid, but good luck rolling the d7. Evie never figured out how to make it work. So, 
I think we we came to a decision about the wand, didn't we? It's it's probably best someone who who could use a little bit of a, a ranged boost. Um, whereas whereas I, I I'm going to be using my my staff and my sword here. So does anyone want uh, this wand? And I'll just like wiggle it up in the air. Professor just turns towards Goro. How are you? How are you wiggling that wand? Is uh, you just like just left, left and right up, <laughs> up by my face. Oh, no. I'm sorry. Hmm. I just, I, I just imagine him not holding it right, but holding it sideways, and he's just jostling up and down. <laughs> I don't know why. I'm sorry. I, I hate. I hold it sideways. Makes it's me like more, when you it's like when you take a pencil and you like wiggle it in high yeah. school and make it look yeah. like it's fluid. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> she don't even bother me. <laughs> well <laughs> It's up to you guys to decide who ha- gets a random wand. I I copy pasted it into your sheet, Baylor, because you're the last one that'll hold it, just so then you know what spells are on there. As a magical, I, for as someone proficient in magic, you would know what these spells are. <laughs> I have a gun. Can you guys uh, pick gun gaming? Got a gun, man. Not need no fucking horns. Yeah. Well, who needs my, who needs I mean, guns? I see you bought a gun to this sword fight. <laughs> Full stop machine gun. I will also remind you all that you have taken a long rest, so any healing slash spell slots you use, you need, you regain. Mm, ah, yes. My many resources of the scout rogue. <laughs> <laughs> looks, over the, looks over the mund, still injured. Uh, uh, quick question to you, Rune. Have you updated yeah. mund to a cleric? Yes, I have updated Monster Clerk. He's now okay. a level 5 Tempest. Okay, just making sure. Uh, as you all are discussing on what to do with the wand, uh, Hack, will you please introduce Scarlet to us as she enters down into this area? <laughs> on the not a sausage fence. Oh, Jesus. Hey, yo. <clears throat> how do you know, how do you know Monster is a female? Huh? No one Sorry, was telling you the two of you. Just to remind me where the hell we entered. Oh, okay, there we go. Couldn't yeah. see it for a second. Hold on, as I also need to. Uh... I don't have token access. No. One moment. This one moment. Hell. I will. I will end you. I will end you again. Hack! Don't make me. Don't tempt me. You cannot kill me now. You. I'm your going face. to kill you. And, and then, then kill I'm you going again. To kill you again. Uh, question, does this character have dark vision? <laughs> I believe, yes. 60 feet of it. God. <laughs> yep, 60 feet. And uh, feet and once again, Kuro is the only one who can't see. Oh, wait, no, Baylor can't see shit either. <laughs> I have light. Not door. if certain someone takes Twilight Domain, but they're going to take t- Temptress. So that's it's irrelevant. Nice. Well, it's no, nice. that's Mund. <laughs> uh, Scarlet, I please, des- please describe your... <laughs> Please describe Scarlet as she enters into this room. So you hear the distant clunking of something of a sword clanging against a sheath as someone clearly not very good at walking quietly mut- mutters something to themselves from underneath a cloak and tries to walk in while not trying to cause too much of distraction to herself, but has clearly drawn your attention. Oh no. Um, I'm assuming you were the guys I was sent out here to meet with? Fresh meat. Mm-hmm. You're the only guys <laughs> down how, here. How many of you are there? Great question. Uh, hi. I That's... like how quick they're sending replacements. <laughs> well, what, what do you mean, sending re- Oh, God! Uh, <laughs> Scott, oh, yeah. at this point, you would see off on the table what is clearly a dead body. <laughs> oh, uh, and also, yeah, like, one... a trail of blood leading to the couch where Kuro is on. <laughs> that one just died. I see. Uh, Maybe they've just got 
God adventures and constant rotate. Um, That's I bullshit, can... otherwise we would have had more of them before now. Well, we could okay. use the extra manpower, I guess. Uh, oh. I mean, the, look, I heard that there's something really important down at the very bottom of these ruins, so, um... Oh, it's... Yes, but we've got to get down there first. The boss is yeah. as good as any. And whisper towards Kuro. She's so... still hiding her face partially under that cloak. She's gonna, she's gonna whisper. Professor, she's gonna whisper towards Kuro. So, am I supposed to take the helm again? What's, what are we supposed to be doing here? Uh, well, if 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 this is meant to be another replacement, and, and we're back to full power. I mean, we've got apparently a fight ahead of us. We only did a part of it the, the last uh, time, and we don't know what we've got uh, to face. Ah, <sighs> all right. I'll drop up. I, I, I oh. can definitely be a help if if that if it seems like I I can't help. Trust me. Oh, oh, don't don't worry, sweet sweetheart. Um, I'll. Have to drop us a contract again. Just to be sure how this whole thing works. I don't think I've discussed to you guys what we're actually how we run things. I, I'm not even sure what you guys are capable of, honestly. Also, well, I I've definitely been told I am capable of uh, definitely some things. I was. Pulls out stacks of papers. Yeah. All right. Uh, you, you can't just say something that's so vague, like what? Huh? Okay. Show me something and press. Um. Don't worry, dear. I've seen many things in this world. Many horrible things, at least. You won't scare us. Well, well me at least. Well, this one, um... This one here turns into a demon. That I do. Oh. Well, I mean... I guess I can sort of do something like that. But I, I can cast magic like a lot of other people. Okay. A uh, spellcaster. Well, so I'll use this contract for you. Now we're talking. Any aptitudes? Uh, medicine? Healing? Um, damaging? I crafting definitely tools. have some healing capabilities. Not vague enough to not be useless. Alright, that's better than the last one. Um. Evie's yeah, corpse just keeps rotting in the corner. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'd say I'm pretty good with a weapon, but uh, it seems like you guys already have that covered. She, she pulls out one of the contracts. Uh, could you sign here? And you're not a warlock, right? This isn't some soul binding contract? Oh, no, no, no. I. 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 Last Falcon. She looks hey. into your eyes for a hot second before nodding. Yeah, I can see that. She nods. Hey, does it, anyone have prestigitation for the body? Um, uh, uh, Mun, Mun has, uh, Mun did that before he, uh, before he yeah, walked it's, away. It's been a while since then now, though. Uh, well, I don't have that anymore, so. <laughs> I, have some, <laughs> I have some basin salts. I mean, just anything to make the room smell a little bit better. Uh... Oh, I have the set... Wait. Uh, could you sign here quickly? So I can... She extends her hand shakily as she's wearing a glove, and then signs it. It's the same contract Evie had. Basically, it's just, don't fuck with us. Uh... If an explosion happens, we are not liable. To, uh, any health benefits? No, either. no, no. I, I, I'm fully aware that this is dangerous and will likely get me killed. 
All right. But, uh, I, I really need to find what it is down there. Also, additionally, it is, uh, there is a clause in there that, that says any and all loot, magical or otherwise, is oh, I, I, shown I don't, to the party. I don't need to really worry about that. I, I'm scared. not here for money. Squints. What are you here for, then? Let's not worry about that right now. I won't question it then. All right. Uh, professor's gonna pull out a sensor, some some like mint leaves. All right. I'll go take care of the dead body. <laughs> professor, you approach the dead body. Uh, approaching him, approaching the dead body of Evie, you pass by Damocles. Damocles, who has just been staring off into the distance, looking at, looking at Evie, uh, silent this entire time. Is there anything wrong? Hmm. He. It seems he was. It seems he was deep in thought. Oh, no, nothing was wrong. Just thinking about stuff. Oh, please proceed with what you were doing. <laughs> oh, don't worry. It's nothing. To, it's just to cover the smell. Hmm. Pulls out the the sensor that I've had this entire time. Starts. Basically doing it like a ba a basic ritual around Evie's body. Uh, having been, having been around, uh, having been a, <laughs> having been from the Hollows, uh, death is no is no new thing for you, Professor. <laughs> let let the rot be gone, blood dried, the smell of the dead be be war, and your spirit. Go to the under, where it belongs. As you do that, you look over the lifeless form of Evie. His ba his skin cold, but content on his face. It seems in his final moments. And they do not the numbers. She goes back. <laughs> you return back to the rest of the party. Well, is there anything else we should be doing, or we would... Uh, Baylor's gonna approach Scarlet, and he's gonna have the wand in hand again, so I can let him go. Is this something you could use? Hmm? Uh, no, I don't. Uh, she takes a minute to look at it. Kind of like, just not trying to keep her hood up properly, as she's also trying to look at it. Um, I don't think I need anything like that, no. So wand, no. No wand, okay. I, uh, I don't need to really hold anything like that for my magic. He's gonna stick it back in his pocket. Um, the displacer coat, uh, cloak. He's gonna pull it out. This. Um, that looks useful. What is it? It's like, uh... Makes you blurry, makes you appear in other places, and people people take swings there instead of where you actually are. Hmm. Um. That'd be nice. This is a non-magical cloak I have on, so I suppose that'd okay. be nice. Well, good. I, I'd rather people can get use of these things. No one, no one for the wand, and he's gonna wiggle it one last time. The wand. Exactly what does this wand do? The one. Okay. Sorry, again I'm, for I'm, the okay. time. I think I'm gonna go through it. Um, so the wand, uh, it can cast some spells. So at will, you can cast inflict wounds uh, and, and ray of sickness three times a day each. You can cast blindness or deafness, uh, ray of enfeeblement, uh, and once a day each, you can bestow curses upon people. He reaches a hand out and just. Just give it to me. I'll take it. Yeah, I'd rather uh, things go to use. Uh, to go <laughs> into more depth, to go into more detail of what this wand actually does, uh, each morning at dawn, you roll a d7, and depending on what you roll, that's the school of magic the wand has. The wand itself will have access to various spells from each school of magic, 
depending on which one you have. Currently, right now, it is on transmutation. The list that Baylor was listing off was, in fact, necromancy. Yeah, uh, no. Uh, one second, as I know you're using D&D Beyond with your new character, but if you look at your yeah. old character sheet, I will be I putting it... I yeah, I'm, 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 I'm pulling it up right now. Uh, don't pull it up yet. Uh, I'll pull it me... up. I'm, I'm exiting out. <laughs> sorry. Don't do anything until I say so. <laughs> no, sir, sorry, sorry. Can I breathe? No. Did I say, <laughs> did I say you could breathe, sir? No. <laughs> Not breathing. Uh... Okay, I have added Randall Wand into the character sheet. Uh, take a look at... Uh, currently, is on transmutation. As a bonus action, you can switch it. You roll a d6, and you can switch it to a different school of magic. Okay. Depending on what the d6 is rolled. Um, just as a heads up, I believe if on transmutation I believe transmutation is where haste was but the spell haste has already been has already been used on this wand by Evie one time while here so actually wait yes I believe you said you casted haste with it it's a new day isn't it? long rest oh yeah, yeah. It, oh yeah long rest yeah. Oh, yeah, so it, it should be it should have actually rolled to a new one. Oh, true uh munch yeah. roll me a d7 <laughs> is it d7 uh yes uh all seven schools, right? Yes. Uh, yeah. In roll twenty, if you know how to how to roll using the command in roll twenty, it would be like slash r space d seven. Oh, let's roll r d seven. Three. So whichever school of magic is three, that is what it is right now. Enchantment. Okay. okay. You. You now have all the enchantment spells that the wand can cast from that. So I just gotta find the source book and enchantment. <laughs> <laughs> Does it? It has access to all enchantments. No, items? no, no. Uh, if you look at, I added the, the item to your inventory. If you look right, at what, yeah. if you look at where the enchant, if you scroll up, I know, I know it'll show like the last one, but. If you scroll up on that list, you'll find enchantment eventually, and on there it will tell you all the spells it can do, like at will, once a day, twice a day, that type of thing. Uh, off the top of my head, I don't remember what enchantment gives you. Three. Oh, I see. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. And they all make out. Scarlet under this hood. As he hands the cloak over. Crown of Madness, whole person. But I am the Coco Pops. Confusion I one day. I am the Coco Pops. Okay. <laughs> Three yeah. times a day is Crown of Madness and whole person. Uh, one time a day. Once is confusion. Got it. Mm -hmm. Uh, Bela, you were trying to see underneath uh, Scarlet's hood? Yeah, as I hand over the cloak. Just taking a good like look, I like duck down and peek under, see if I can see. Uh, Why are you make... hiding your cloak? Uh, make a perception check. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. I don't know where the plus two is coming from, but <laughs> nine. Yeah, that's where it's from. Guidance. Oh, I've, got, I've got guidance clicked on, sorry. And the, my bless is all clicked on for some reason as well. Mike has guidance. No. <laughs> I mean, you are right next to him. You could if you wanted to. <laughs> no, I'm all right. I'm all right. No. Uh, uh, with a nine, I don't believe you'd be able to see enough of... You wouldn't really be able to make out details of Scarlet's face with that quick glance you saw underneath her hood. She just appears to be a standard eyes. human. Nothing special going on there. Okay, so be ready for a fight because I think we're going to get one. Uh, yeah, assigned. but this is a magic item, so can't quite attend to it yet. So I'll just 
Put it yes. in my bag for now. Oh, wait, wait a sec, actually. Uh, Jailer, Warden, the guy. Hmm. It's Damocles. I have informed you of this multiple times. <laughs> yeah. Uh, pulls, he, she pulls out a singular, like, one of those uh, fuel cells. Do you have any more of these? Hmm. As of in this location, no. You would find Damn. you would ha you have a better chance of finding those on one of the lower floors. Honestly, because I believe there is an armory. If I if my memory units are correct, there is in fact the armory somewhere below us. Oh, now that I find very interesting. Uh, would you be opposed to me sticking a claim on this? Part. If you manage to get there, and if the Epsilon unit put in charge of that area allows it, I see no problem. Though, I should warn you, I'm probably the, the most talkative of the Epsilon units that will not immediately try to kill you. Uh, good to know. Alright then. Um... I suppose let's head off. Yes, Ooh, team, so rally up. As Baylor says, this. Would you like? Hmm? Would you like to sign up as well, Amon and? Sure. Man, I, already... I mean, we're What's already up? part way through fighting. Yeah, but we're already course. part of the team. Well, it's more of an official thing, really. But you got a tragical. Publication, you know? Full sub paper. I I've got this. You see, she has a like a kind of a pen uh, with glitters on it. Are, are you writing this up currently in front of you? Oh, I already have some stuff for uh, fighters. And... Oh, okay. I, I never asked, what, are you, what do you do now, Mon? Um, we're gonna we're gonna say that, that last session Mun was a cleric. Yeah. Uh, I mean, uh, Mun looks down and he's uh, he says, uh, "I'm a cleric." Oh. Uh, give me a sec. I'll write something up real quick. See your speed. Write something. <laughs> Never actually Holy had one, so. Yeah. All healing must go to me," <laughs> says the professor. <laughs> <laughs> the clause is basically uh, uh, if there's any insurance or any like sort of systems you're obliged to do that kind of stuff, you, you gotta tell us. You gotta tell us your cop. Obliged to anyone. Um, sign here, here, and here. He begrudgingly takes the pen and just doesn't. There's, a, it's not a signature. It's just a, <laughs> just a line. <laughs> Good enough. All right, that official. Can we go? She nods. Good. Let's go, team. The old man goes wandering off into the cell, into into the prison. <laughs> um, is that big samurai-looking guy gonna be joining us? Oh, don't worry, he'll follow. He's very quick. He tends to lag behind. And then when there's a fight that happens, he rushes in. I don't understand. Is he like your main it's guy? It's because I'm the only one who there? cannot see. That is why. He's also blind. You'll be able to see. I'm not blind, I just can't see in the dark. You should get your ring that allows you to see in the dark. You should you give some bitches. I, I, I question, I'm, I'm asking him. Um, no, I'm trying. Do you mind <laughs> if your weapon glows? As in, do I mind if you cast light on it? Yes. Yes, I do. Holding a torch. Okay. Well, this one seems more convenient. 
Yes. I mean, light is a, is a cantrip, but I can cast. It's fine. Don't mind. I'll cast light on something. You'll be able to. Yes. We'll Damn, be I know this. Oh, I don't even have light as a cantrip. Never mind. Uh, Mun, do you cast light on something that's on your person? No, not on him. I'm not casting it on it on myself or anything. Okay. I'm just cast. Uh, when 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 we get to where we're going, I'll probably cast it on something. Uh, so okay. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, remind me. That's twenty by twenty feet. Mm -hmm. Uh, for one hour, it's twenty by twenty. Yeah. Okay. And it's feared. Okay. You all go. You all continue further into the dungeon. Walking forward, you come upon that familiar site that you did before. The bodies of the the bodies of the flesh abominations with shark fins no longer seem to be present as you walk forward along the along this cobblestone path. Eventually, you wander into a very you as you walk through the door on the other side, the one you refused to go through before, you enter into a large open room as I move you to this map. Yippee! And walking in here, you see off in the distance your prey. It seems to be. <laughs> it seems to be currently wandering around the prison area, just minding its own business. I'm gonna get some fucking E710. Wait, before anyone does anything, I'm gonna go climb the wall. As stealthy as it can. Um, make me a stealth check. <laughs> as as Scarlet, Baylor, and Mund, you all watch as the person who says they aren't ma very magical starts walking up the wall. <laughs> yeah. Almost, I'm almost really like a vampire. <laughs> How are you doing that? She disappears into the shadows. Of the, she disappears into the shadows of the of the wall. <laughs> Surface dwellers. Just. What's magic? Hmm. That is a, uh, I don't know, common party trick. Shrugs. Uh. What can we sell about. Oh, I can't see a thing of that, can I? Uh, you can only I see can what see. you see. Oh, uh, I will be uh, on the roof. There's something big there in the darkness. Uh, uh, oh. Is that a cell, or is that a like a, like a grate? Uh, uh, as I, you look, for, uh, oh, hold on, one person at a time. As you look forward, you do see on the floor what the, seems to be these metal grates. Uh, you could also figure that they could be used as cells. Uh, professor, uh, as you get closer, you hear over that intercom set system the sound. The sound of Damocles' voice. I see you have made it to where you need to be. Mm -hmm. You hear him audibly sigh. I just want you to know. I mean you no ill will. It's just my programming. As you see from both of the other cells, familiar creatures to specifically only Kuro and the professor. <laughs> Come out <laughs> as that was as you see this guy and this guy come out. Well, that um, was expected. I am light on the on the on the middle cell. <laughs> okay, uh, I am going to need you all to roll me initiative. <laughs> oh, where do we uh, GC? Okay. Yes. Could I say, um, as as Damocles was doing his whole bullshit, that Kuro went big and angry? Uh, yes. <laughs> During your bonus action, as you hear the sound of betrayal, you may certainly... Eat you may temp HP? Fuck yes. Become Not big that. and angry. As I roll the initiative. Too. There are two Baylors on the initiative tracker. I don't know why. Real. 
Is there? I had 17, I can't see my Don't worry, don't, don't worry, you rolled four. the same thing twice, I I fixed it. I, oh, okay, I don't see my own initiative now, as long as you see it though. Yeah, strange. As, okay. Get ready for combat. As, we get into a boss fight. First off in the initiative is you see it in a very Bug. you see it in a ve actually wait Scarlet what is your dexterity? Um, my dexterity is two. The modifier oh. of two. Oh, you would go first then. <laughs> yes, I strategically I have I'm cooking plans revolving around. Them. Let me cook. I have. <laughs> Big plans. Okay, Scarlet. Show us what you can do. Uh, no, because you have a higher dex mod. Higher dex mod always wins. Mm -hmm. Even in a crit. Okay. Yep. Yeah, the roll offs, only... it, crits don't That's... do like spe yeah. like skills or like. Yeah. Uh, crits same. only. <laughs> crits are crits only. Is... Yeah, crits are only successes on attacks. Guaranteed okay, successes, so I should say. Okay, so I need to. Oh god, that's right. She has no fucking movement speed. Me for real, for real. Let's see. Oh, uh, how big is the range Cube. on this? I don't. Cube. I don't know. I know nothing about this Cube. class that you have done. <laughs> no, this is a deep. This is a deep magic spell. I'm just checking something. Oh great! <laughs> oh yes, deep magic. Let's see if I need to nerf this. I didn't bring one. custom spells into this. No, 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 just deep magic. Which are basically custom spells. <laughs> they might as well be. Um. Oh crap! I don't have the material components for that anyway. Oh well. Unless it has a price, it doesn't matter. It has a price. Oh, then it does matter. <laughs> yeah, I know. I follow the exact same rules. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Yeah, wait, I can't cast it anything. I'm going to Um. Yeah, no, Damn it, I already fucking moved it. Like one bit for you, please? Would, would Kuro like Blindsight? I mean, it's not going to do light. much. Yeah. It's light casting on him right now. No, there's not. What are you talking about, what? No, uh, Mund casts, like, lights somewhere else in the area. Yeah. Right there in the middle of everything. Right there, buddy. Right there. Right there. On the cell cage. On the cell cage he just right here. There. Can I, inst can I instead go to... Can I go to him instead? Uh, sure. So you, I'll give you time to to prepare yourself. As you I'm watch this, you watch as this thing straightens up Almost robotically, as it, oh, uh, as it, hold on, I need to do some measurements. As this, as you see from his back, his back opens up and you see spikes protruding out of it. Oh. As it's about to shoot at... It's that thing I told you guys. Don't be aware of the spikes. <laughs> uh, it cannot see the professor, so it is between you three right now. Uh, hold on. Oh, no, Baylor. Baylor is Baylor is out of range. So I'm gonna roll. And one. wouldn't a hack get um, cover from being behind me? Uh, no, he is not a halfling. Ah. Oh yeah, I don't well, get that ability until a few levels later. Shit. Well, mm. well, uh, Kuro, this is coming towards you. Sounds good. As it shoots a spike out at you. Nineteen. Barely, barely. Wait, nineteen? Yeah, barely. hits. You take twelve piercing damage, and I'm gonna need you to make me a con saving throw. Oh, that's a good thing to get those. Not okay. 20 for 26. 
nothing happens, it takes another shot at you with its sec with its multi attack. And eleven misses. Misses. As that second one just gets knocked out of the air by his sword. Okay, you knock the second one out of the air. It's it then it then readies itself as it also uh backs up a little bit. <laughs> I got up, I got up. It backs up five <laughs> ten. <laughs> yeah, it backs up it backs up to about there. Uh Scarlet, it is now your turn. Um, she's going to put a hand on Hero's shoulder and cast this. Giving him Bear's Endurance. Oh. Oh, okay. Roll me 2d6. HP. <laughs> hey, you can, you can actually carry all of these things now. Oh, you're rolling 2d6. Okay, I'll take the five. You okay. double your carry capacity. That, that's no, that's not what I no, I have to specifically choose which one to give them. You can carry oh, a my. piano. Uh, bears endurance. Advantage on con checks. That would have been useful that, earlier. No, that does not include saving I, throws, I guess. What, what, no, what's really funny is I have advantage on con saving throws. Um, oh, is that triple main, advantage, DM? When I'm maintaining a spell. Oh. No. <laughs> There's no such thing as triple advantage. <laughs> Monkey be like, oh, technically inside of D and D first edition. No, I'm joking. <laughs> like, yeah. There's okay. multiple ways to roll 3D kill any, but yeah. Okay, that was your that was your action, uh, bonus action, and movement. Don't know where I used my bonus action, but sure. I wasn't gonna do anything else anyway. I mean, there's always scanning your opponents if you wish to. I mean, sure, fuck it. What is that? Perception? Uh, scanning is your highest modifier stat. Just roll that. Well, I am a very average individual, so... You see nothing. Oh, god damn it. <laughs> I, I left always advantage on. That you blinked. Yeah. <laughs> okay, uh, that was your turn. She can't see anything. The hood is covering her eyes. Real. Baylor, it's now your turn. You watched as this creature in the back shot at Kuro and... Hit once, but missed the second time. What do you do? Hey, Baylor's not in the uh, on the initiative tracker. I, I might have to me as well, but as long as I can. Like, see... Uh, okay. So, funny thing is, I don't see it on my PC, but I see it on my laptop that he that he's on the initiative tracker. My weird. I'm not fresh. Yeah, I'm gonna do the same. Yeah. He's still not there. Oh, well. Yeah, I can. I got. It doesn't matter, I can see him. His initiative is a 17.6 seat. Yeah. I can see him. Uh, can't get that. He colored. Uh, so yes. I think she shent. Yeah, end of turn. They lost blood. Okay. Uh, Professor, you said you're on the ceiling? The ceiling? Uh, in the current area you're on is 15 feet off the ground. The ceiling in the larger chamber is about. Eh, 40 feet off the ground. I would actually like to, or... I'd like to, like, slink up, way up and try to, like, hide in a raft, like, a raft or somewhere. Is there some, like, a... Uh, you are... There? You are still currently hidden. None of the creatures can see you. I see. I guess I'll dash... In. How are you doing stealth movement? Uh, half your movement. If you're stealthing. Half my movement, so one, two, three, like this, a dash, and I'll prime myself here. Okay. None of them can see me, right? Uh, no, you are currently on the ceiling, hidden from everything, even your own party. I was born in the darkness. Yeah, uh, I'll try to get as high a high point as I can get. I'll end my turn here. Okay. You end your turn there. There's now. Can you see, where's the music? It's playing. I. Roll Twenty is having an aneurysm, bro. Ah, <laughs> uh, thank you, Roll Twenty. Oh well, I can hear it. <laughs> yeah. 
Taylor's still not in the initiative tracker. Roll20 is currently having a, uh... I can't uh, wait for the homebrew features to completely break Roll20. Yeah. Hold on, I have added Baylor to the initiative tracker, and I am now Yippee. adding him. 176. Oh. Oh. Now I see the old man. Oh, I see. <laughs> chosen to join us. <laughs> You're actually here now. Uh, I've come for the fight. It is now the Necromancer's turn. The Necro. The necromancer, the necromancer opens up its cloak as three skulls come from it. Yo, what the fuck? Boy, here we go with this shit. As you see, well, Kuro and Professor, you would definitely recognize this as you see these three entities come out of him. Zayn. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Why are you shit? Stop spoiling shit, bro. I do that? That's, that's not in the rule books, bro. Oh, motherfucking damn. <laughs> oh, I can't do that. It's uncensored. It's, God it's... damn it, I don't have splash spells. What is he doing? This is a part of my my Christian Minecraft server. Air with the his deuce. Cloak off. What? <laughs> uh, that oh, was he's it. He's making me take my pants off. What is happening? That was its action. Uh, and yeah. is I'm now. Is blocking, uh, that was its action. It is now these creatures turn. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. I am your. Huh? You see as you see as these three start moving in your direction. Kuro, it is okay. now your turn. Okay, cool. I'm gonna move right here. Great weapon master, hit this dude. Okay. Uh, let's see. Twenty to hit. That definitely hits. <laughs> 22 slashing, and I can re-roll those if he's not dead. Uh, that is just enough to kill him. <laughs> okay, cool. And because I killed him as my bonus action, I'm gonna attack this dude. Also okay. great weapon master. Okay. God motherfucking damn! God motherfucking damn! Uh, Ooh. you... He parries you with his great shield. <laughs> Real. Um... I think that's it, yeah. Okay. It is now. It is now this creature's turn. This creature. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, thirty. <laughs> it sees. Oh, hello. The it sees the juicy yeah. soft ones in the back, and it goes after you, yeah. Baylor. Mmm, <laughs> the squishies. Yeah. Oh, then big the one. Yeah. You're calling squishy big boy. Oh, uh, hold on. Oh, the one thing it. The wizard ran stuff. Just killed it in one hit. Oh, one thing it. Guys. Oh. The boss oh. sees the sentient gushers. <laughs> uh, it makes. Yeah, it makes two yeah. attacks. First attack. Disadvantage. You're right, a disadvantage because you're blurred. Fourteen. Miss. Okay, uh, second attack. Also misses. When the beat cap says on He watches this thing tries to bite you, and then, but then missing you horribly, Valor. It then goes in with its blade arms to try and slice you up. Also missing. Mun, it is now your turn. You have this creature just fronting oh. on Baylor now. <laughs> As you saw Kuro run oh. off into the distance. <laughs> Dude. He's you have no on power you. here. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Um, I can do a few things. 
now whether or not I want to do such things. I'm going to um, log into this guy's face. Okay. And we'll take a swing at it with my gray with my warhammer. Okay. Well, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna bonk it, and I'm one-handing it, so it's just a one d eight. It's one-handing it, guys. Nice. I'm one. It's a natural twenty. That hits. <laughs> no. <laughs> so let I him told, cook. I'm cooking <laughs> with Gordon Ramsay. <laughs> um, no, so what is this? <laughs> Is the it stone's 12? on fire. He's 12. <laughs> uh, uh, just click on the Warhammer and it should do the crit for you. Yeah. Or uh, you can be based and have your character sheet just auto roll damage for you. It okay. didn't. It didn't do the thing. Uh, roll me another d8. <laughs> okay, I'm using my reaction to do uh, a thing for. Um, for for Tempest stuff, Wrath of the Storm, when, when, one reaction. Uh, the creature needs to make a deck saving throw, DC 15, or take 2d8 more damage of thunder damage. It takes half damage on succeeds. Oh, hold on, it has. Okay, that's 18 points in da of damage in total. Oh. We do a lot of damage, god damn. Okay, uh, and then I need to make a constitution saving throw for what? Oh, the deck save for, uh, de deck save... 15 for the DC or take 2d8 damage. So so I'm using Wrath of the Storm when a creature within 5 feet that I can see Oh wait. No. Not that. It's when it hits me. Sorry. I misread. Ah. It's when it hits Oh my me. god. All right, you wasted it's 20. I wish 20 <laughs> seconds. <laughs> you wasted it's 20. That's all right. Wasting time. I am so sorry. And once again, uh, the one-handed somehow does more damage than the two-handed. I I never understand it. <laughs> but it I does. never understand. <laughs> it's like, um, it's like oh, I quit. Damage. Yeah. So that activates my crusher feet. Oh. Um. Oh yeah. God. Uh. I'm dealing bludgeoning damage because it's a warhammer. Mm hmm Um, and it also how big is this thing? It is considered large. Okay, it's one size larger than me. I push it back five feet. Uh, okay. uh, and attack rolls against this creature are made with advantage until the uh, start of my next turn. Oh, good to know. Wait, advantage for all of us? Uh, when I score a when you score a critical hit that deals bludgeoning damage to the, to a creature, attack rolls against that creature are made with advantage until the start of my next turn. So this goes for the whole team. Yes. Oh, this guys. is about to be funny. <laughs> guys, I'm about to commit crimes. You guys better move the fuck out of there. I'm oh, also crime. about to commit some more Four, crimes. Two. That's, <laughs> was that? 5, 10, I have what? I have a I mean, 15, 1, 2, guys. 3. Did you see, I have no idea if I got the token size right for this thing. I just hope I did. I'm gonna stay there. Guys, okay. gonna get banned in Japan. Okay, uh... Anything else in your turn, Mund? Uh... Nah, I'm I... Okay. Scarlet, it is now your turn. Uh, Kirito, you're okay with losing your temporary hit points, right? Oh. Uh -huh. Okay, so... Since uh, a hidden thing that she did has ended now, because she casted another concentration spell because my dumbass didn't realize, um, a little pink blob is going to shift out from underneath her hood and slowly begin to grow massively as she basically is just very shocked by this quick thing. GC, that's supposed to be huge. Uh, I can make it huge. Thank you. A huge pink golem just kind of drops out as this pink, little small spear <laughs> that was previously floating just becomes this massive thing. As she now looks extremely pained, trying to con just looks pained. I now have to roll this thing's initiative. She just did a Zeus. So she it's... gave birth to Athena from her forehead. Real. Yo, it's fogging. It's cooking right now. She's cooking right now. 
It's like the bro, why does it look like the fucking the Wojak that's pointing? I'm not even fucking with you. It's just a recolored goddamn blade. It's just a recolored leg golem. I got lazy. Hold on, wait, give it two seconds. Hold on, let me go find it. Haha! <laughs> it's Wojacking, man. <laughs> okay, I assume that was your action. Yeah, that actually consumes the whole action. Okay. Uh, anything for your bonus Sorry. action, movement? Fuck. Her, she will then walk up behind it. Uh, actually, you need to keep track of which way this thing is facing. So, it is current. I will mark this by saying it's facing this way. That is Why important. does it look like this? <laughs> oh, god damn it. Yeah, it's watching. <laughs> <laughs> look, I can't draw for shit. You can see what the little version looks like. She will then walk up. Yay! Sorry, I was trying to. I was trying to flip it. He will then walk up and jump on its back. Okay. Ending your turn. Take a twist. It. What's it? What's it, guys? This is it. You have to. It's in the contract. <laughs> you hear in the darkness. Imagine this from the fine print, you are legally required to twist every dick you see. <laughs> Very roughly. <laughs> Extremely harshly, guys. <laughs> okay, it is now. It is now this prisoner's turn. This prisoner uh, sees that off in the distance, but is more focused on Kuro. Kuro. Two spike shots are coming at you. Get more. Uh, 21. Ooh. Hits. Okay. Uh, take 13 piercing damage, and I need you to make me a con saving throw. Okay. Oh. 13. And con save. Another nat 20 for 26. Kuro, oh, beforehand, shit. you felt... Kuro's Kuro. con is just steadfast. Kuro, once again, you feel, you feel this... As this thing impales into you, you feel this bypass any form of physical defenses you have, for starters. Second off, you feel this type of poison start to eke into you, but with a flex of your muscles, you, you stop the poison in its tracks. As it shoots, again... Uh, 22. <laughs> Hits. You take 16 piercing damage, mm. and I'm gonna okay. need a con save. <laughs> this is scary. <laughs> this is gonna be scary. Save. Un what that the fuck? Crazy. You're cheating. Hold on, no, no. What that is, is a crit that is against the third, a crit? That, hold on, no, 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 no. That is the third nat 20. It's the exact save same fucking roll. There ain't no way. Every I need you to open made is a nat 20. I swear to God, I have a theory that roll 20 <laughs> will fuck? give you better. Results if you roll like this. Yeah. I what agree. the fuck? Hold on, wait. I'm pu I'm fucking screenshotting this real quick. We call this simply cheating. Uh, okay. Literally uh, just cheating. That was. Win. That was uh <laughs> that creature's turn. Uh, Baylor, it is now your turn. And I can Baylor move through this creature to get to. He is currently huge size, so yes. Yeah. So uh, Baylor's gonna move up. Yeah, that's a huge size thing, and um, by the way, you can cast buff spells on that, but you cannot heal it. Oh. Okay. Just above board. You can't heal it, but it will, it does take buff spells. Okay. And so... So, theoretically it's speaking, it can become gargantuan. Good to know. Baylor's gonna turn to this thing, and he's gonna boom in blade. Okay. Um... You didn't, you didn't roll an attack. Oh, it's yep. changed my moving blade for some reason. Sixteen to uh, sixteen plus like six or something. Uh, sixteen. Okay, that will. Yeah, plus six. That will hit. Two. Yeah, that will hit this creature. As it takes um, 11 points of damage in total. Yeah, and it'll take 13 if it decides to move from there. 
Um, okay. But Bill also magic coming over from the corner, and he's got other beef. So he's going to move the extra 10 feet to here. And get okay, he is going to definitely take that attack opportunity at disadvantage. Yeah. Oh, he's got blur on still. Uh, Booming Blade isn't concentrate. No, it's not. <laughs> okay. No, it's not, no. At uh, nine. <laughs> it takes a swing at you, but once again, it misses because of your blur. It goes right through my blur, and I've already moved out of that position. And I move up to here, and I use my action surge, and I'm going to cast Rhyme's Binding Ice in a 30 foot cone in this direction. Okay. In the attempt to catch the three. Okay, uh. God damn! Okay, con saving throw. Holy shit, two crits on the damage dice. Uh, that one fails. I... <laughs> Wait a second. Is real tiny fucking buggy? Hey man, a 30 foot cone, you say? Wait, that's that. That's different. It's a bit, that's a fat cone, yeah. No, that's, that cone is specifically done for the way this thing packs. Uh, yeah, that doesn't hit Kiro. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm checking. And lastly, the, ent the entity. Okay. So any anyone that fails is now frozen in place. And uh, they lower end his turn. Okay. Uh, do you, okay, and they take half damage? Okay. Yeah. This one looks heavily injured. After getting blasted with a bunch of cold. This one still looks looks injured, but not as injured. And this one looks like it's barely been touched. Though you also notice that he does not seem to be as health as as meaty as the other two entities in the room. Uh, anything else, Baylor? Oh no, uh, end of turn, the Baylor. Okay, uh, Professor, it is now your turn. You are hidden in the darkness on the roof. Uh, yes. For the kill. <laughs> Are you gonna kill Steel? <laughs> the thing that's fucking up Kuro, or one of the other two things? <laughs> I'm technically hidden, so this guy. Attacks on this guy's gonna be advantage, right? Uh, all your attacks are advantage on all of them. None of them can see you. Yep. Gonna scoot over right here. Want this thing dead instantly. Because it keeps pooping out monsters. I will remind you, you are currently 40 feet in the air. No, that's where, that's where I moved you, so it's. He's just in range. Okay. I I gotta be, do I have to be on top of him? Yeah. I mean, you can make a shot from there. Yeah. I was. Just, I'm just gonna throw a bunch of. Uh, I was just gonna throw a few. Like. I forget. It's not. You. You don't shoot. You throw bombs at people. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna <laughs> drop ten fuel cells at this guy. Uh, okay, uh, let me let me just look at something real quick. Mm -hmm. Okay, nothing else will so, be caught in this range, but okay. Yeah, I want damage on him anyways, like from my sneak attack, so I have to hit him, right? Yep, uh, brought an advantage. <laughs> I'll just use the. Come uh... on, hit the crit. Eleven. Uh, that <laughs> unfortunately misses, but it will still need to make a deck saving throw as it would be in the radius. How much damage is it again? Sixty-six. Uh, uh, it would be. Well, how many bombs did he use? Ten. Okay. Uh, Jesus. That, okay, that would be. Uh, okay, that would be. Let's see. Ten d eight. <laughs> Go. Bomb them. Yeah. 
33 damage. And he failed. He takes a full Let's go. 33 fire slash lightning damage. I, right, I'd like to take the bonus action, like it's try to find some way to hide here, top of the ceiling. May have to move a little though. Here, ish. Here ish. No. Yeah. I'll end my turn here. Say okay. I think take bonus action to hide if it's possible. Uh, yes, it is entirely possible to hide on top of the ceiling. <laughs> uh, the ceiling From is above. the ceiling is very dark and it's very far from all their lines of sight. <laughs> From above. <laughs> okay, uh, Scarlet, your creature's turn is next. Okay, so it's just gonna fucking lift up its all both of its massive arms and just slam down on this guy. Okay, that hits. Uh, yeah. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> That's an average. That I'm, oh wait, no, that was the slam description. I'm sorry, this one was stomp. Yeah, so it just lifts its fucking giant foot and kicks into it. Okay. Uh, you watch as it is immediately crushed and and I believe he is, yeah, he is beyond bloodied after that one stomp. <laughs> Scarlet still looks visibly pained during this whole thing, but that is the entire creature's turn. Okay. It is now, it is now this guy's turn. Now, uh, what can you do that is, you can't summon anything. Okay. This thing is just going to start tearing this thing to shreds. Uh, a cone, I need you. Dang. He's going to need to go up <laughs> one more in order to get both Kuro and Baylor. As this thing is going to... It, it opens its cloak and flashes both Baylor and Kuro. I'm going to need you to make me a wisdom saving throw. Oh boy, it's a good thing I'm good at those. Oh. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh... What the fuck? Wait, how many creeps do I need to make a saving throw? That is... uh, no, no, that... not you. Hold on, hold on. Every single saving throw has been a nat 20. What the fuck? Bro okay. is cheating. Kuro, oh, you take- manager boy. Huh? Okay, Kuro, you Kuro. take Damn, four- Damn, check his fudging. Kuro, Kuro, you take four points of psychic damage. Baylor, you take okay. eight points of psychic damage and are cons and are now frightened of this creature. Okay, but yeah, that's a 15 foot Kona. The psychic damage scares me. We don't I'm like psychic damage around here. I'm resistant. Okay, uh... Okay, now it is... Now it is Z's creature's turn. Uh, the strength one is going to... Is going to take its morning star and attack at you, Kuro. Okay. Uh, 17? <laughs> you managed to deflect and... it. Oh. Actually, no, I'm not, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. Okay, uh, and then this one, it, it is going to look over to its creator and cast this. And, he, and heal him for Which 2 HP. Which one casted that? That one, right? Yep. It has now put a target on his back. As the entire party Cash looks over nipples. there. And, as the entire party looks over at that thing, and all together in unison, healer. Real. Healer, healer. detected. Grab its dick and twist. Guys, <laughs> it's in a Kuro, it is now your turn. Okay, gonna move over here. Gonna whack this bitch. Normal Get hit. Twenty-one to me. hit. That hits. Uh, okay. Do I need to roll? I'm pretty sure you're minimal. 
Your man is your minimum damage uh, higher than a five? My bare minimum is fucking what ten, and I can re-roll those ones. Okay, well he's dead. <laughs> okay, bonus action, attack this dude. Uh, which dude? The the healer. Okay. Also normal hit, twenty three to hit. That hits. Uh, uh, I'm re-rolling that one. You didn't need to, uh, but it's 11 dead. 11 plus 8, 19. Uh, you killed on the first one. <laughs> cool. Action surge, hit this dude. Okay. And I'm going to great weapon master that. Why is it 11 to hit? Him? I don't think that hits. Uh, no. It manages to dodge out of, your, out of the way of your blow, Kuro. Alright, that's all, that's all we got. It was wild. He was cooking for a minute. It was smelling good. Okay. Yeah, you see, you, you like my two hit bonus on that attack? Uh, <laughs> this thing immediately knowing what the what the actual threat of threat is in this room turns to. Turns to this pink blob of an abom abomination before it. As he goes in for a bite. Okay. Missing. <laughs> I don't think I'm... <laughs> and does a 12 hit this creature? Hack. Uh, a 12? Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Hold on. I have the character sheet right here. It has an AC of 14. Okay. It goes in for its swing, but your giant colossus s smacks it out of the way. Uh, Lund, it is now your turn. <laughs> you saw yeah, Kuro. <laughs> you saw Kuro for a bit. It's cooking. <laughs> he's cooking a minute, but then I'm like, okay, he doesn't look very good. I'm gonna cast Healing Word at uh, third level. Okay. On Kuro. <laughs> okay, cast your Healing Word. I don't have any oh, potions. That was on almost right now. maxed, Damon. That was almost maxed. Uh, Crow, you heal for 16 HP. 16? Yep, 16. 16, no, it's 13. What you mean? Oh, oh, it does it all automatically. Magically, never mind. Yeah. Okay, He's 13. How dare you? How <laughs> about the cereal? My homie. More okay. spikes are gonna come at you, Crow, just for saying that. <laughs> you did uh, this. Well, shit. Um, that was the bonus action. Yes, that was your bonus action. Um, do, do these things count as undead? Uh, you wouldn't know that unless one you... That one would. <laughs> My, more one more specifically, are they, are they one or two? Or are they a half CR or lower? Uh, I can easily tell you none of these things will be destroyed by your destroyed undead. Okay. Based off CR. I cannot tell you yeah. the monster type unless you use the spell. Okay. Um. Well then, I can't cast another spell because I've already done. No. No, right. you cannot. Right. Unless it's a can, you can cast an action cantrip if you have one. Of okay. Those. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I have a cantrip. Um, Which, if I'm not mistaken, no, I'm gonna... the majority of cantrips are actions. <laughs> yeah, they are. I'm. I'm gonna attack the boar. Okay, attack the boy. Oh boy, Bobby. Damn it! Damn huh? it! You swing and oh, bounce you... harmlessly off this creature's hide. I'm sorry, Dan. Okay. <laughs> okay, um, Mund, anything else on your turn? That's it. Okay, Scarlet, it is now your turn. What do you do? I'll save you the trouble. She literally can't do anything else right now. Okay. It is now. It is now Besides this creature. Besides from moving and bonus actions, but she doesn't have any. She can't cast spells. They're using bonus actions right now. Okay. I mean, uh, I mean, this thing this, uh, really bad. Uh, this thing really doesn't like you, Kuro. So it's going to keep shooting spikes at you. Uh, okay. Eight. Eight misses. Miss. Twenty. Hit. You take 12 points of piercing, and I'm going to need another con save. 
Okay, now, that you, now, that, now that you said the word save, it's going to be another nat 20. The okay. first one is the one. I didn't mean to double click. <laughs> okay. Uh, you still succeed. You still succeed. You feel this poison going into you, and you are not changed in a Fucking horrific way. Four saves in a row that are nat 20s. That is nuts. <laughs> okay. Uh, you also take 12 points of piercing damage. Okay. Uh, Baylor, it is now your turn. Oh, well, there goes that healing word. <laughs> there, there it goes. 20, 30, uh, action dash, 40, 45. Um, and he's going to bonus action second win. To nine. Okay. Uh, full health. And you flex a little and heal yourself. <laughs> Come on then, big guy. It screams now, knowing that it will be shooting at disadvantage if you're in front of it. <laughs> Oh, okay. okay, Professor, it is now your turn. You are currently in the rafters, like a bat, hidden amongst amongst this whole battlefield. Bat gaming. Who's Batman? Uh, well, pulls up, pull, pulls up AK, loads AK, points AK at enemy, shoots AK. Okay. okay. At advantage. <laughs> Slap right. At advantage. Oh. Bro really pulled out a gun. Oh shit. You fire and you you fire and this thing in a very unnatural way phases out of the way of your attack, barely missing it. <laughs> oh shit. It looks oh. up to you now, Professor, Bro. now knowing where you are. And Bro, now knows your I, location. I think, uh... I think there was a trade-off between you and me. This time I'm, sh I'm rolling that shit, but I'm, I'm getting away. Out. I'm out of here. I'm gonna hide in, in this corner now. Bye. Uh, make me a self check. <laughs> make me a self check. Let's we'll see if you can keep it up. <laughs> it has his eyes on you for a brief second, and then, and then it blinks a little, and you disappear. <laughs> his eyes return to Kuro. Uh, the shadows. Uh, Scarlet, it is now your creature's turn. I think I already know what this creature's about to do. <laughs> Just lifts up his foot yet again. Uh, that, uh, that misses. As this Damn. time, it, as, it, as, as it sees a stomp coming, it braces and deflects off its foot with its bladed arm. Oh, rats. I knew I should have switched up. Okay. Um, yeah. Yeah, oh, is there any... Okay. Yeah. Okay. Stay, it's now this creature's turn. Uh, this creature? It's going to move his hand out towards you, Kuro. Mm -hmm. There's an 18 hit? Ooh. Uh, Mita Bita. Okay. You take 13 points of necrotic damage. Well, I'm down. And it also heals for 6 HP, as it sees it, some of its wounds start to close, after having done that to Kuro. I have finally knocked Kuro down. <laughs> it only, yeah, it only took focusing me with every attack for the past three rounds. <laughs> Wait, that means you can't take any, uh... Not a single play. other person has been hit yet. <laughs> I was not... Okay, hold on. You're making it sound like I was targeting you. I was not yeah, targeting yeah, you. Yeah, he <laughs> I, I wasn't targeting you. I was just hitting you with every attack for the past three rounds. Oh, <laughs> to be fair, he, he kept missing. He did miss. This guy only started going for you, you because he went missed? up to... He missed twice. <laughs> this guy only went for you because he... <sighs> Never mind. <laughs> Five, ten. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. I was not <laughs> aiming for you, DM. Jesus. Uh -huh. <laughs> wow. Wow. Always blame the DM. Not real. <laughs> girl, you know what, girl? Make that death save. Will do. <laughs> That's one success. Congratulations. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> Get fucked again. Let's <laughs> <Nice> parking. <laughs> this thing is <laughs> doing it. <laughs> The thing, not even paying attention to Mund at this point, it's just constantly trying to kill this thing in front of it. 
I'm just gonna look for this thing. <laughs> uh, twenty-two. Does that? I'm pretty certain a twenty-two will hit this thing. As it does, ten piercing. You must have told you. You must have told you since SpongeBob. What? Uh. Okay. Uh. Hack, does a 16 hit your your golem? Yes. Okay. It takes a total of 24 points of, of damage. 24? Yeesh. That's horrible. That's horrible, then. I mean, it has a fuck ton of health, so... Mm -hmm. You watch as it bites into this thing's arm, and it slashes across its chest with his blade arm. Oh, it does not fun. taste very good. Uh, it tastes like aberration. Up uh, Monday, it is now your turn. You saw Kuro go down. I'm running, running in 25 feet away from this guy. He will take an attack of opportunity. Do it, bitch. Try it. Uh, eleven. <laughs> he misses. He swings. He swings, but doesn't take your height into account and misses you. Okay. Um, well, when since he took necrotic damage, I can't seem to remember. Is it is it chill? Is it chill? Touches the one that stops healing. Is that one? Okay. Okay. That's gonna. I'm gonna. Yeah. Fucking. Don't worry. Oh, that ability man. did not. That, that ability was just to heal himself. It wasn't to. Mm. It didn't stop okay, his healing. It was his life drain, basically. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to. I'm gonna cast another healing word, second level. Okay. Oh, that's only nine. Sorry, buddy. Only. It is. It's only nine. Girl, your eyes. I just have to survive up. another round of GC targeting me. Yeah. <laughs> I'm casting um. I'm casting Sacred Flame on the guy. Oh. Uh, okay. Uh, that's a Dex saving throw, I believe. Uh, Dex 15. Uh, okay. He, the thing. Oh, wait, which guy? Uh, the dude who took, who took Kira. Oh, ah, okay. A two. <laughs> he is not uh, the most dexterous of creatures, as it takes 12 points of radiant damage. <laughs> yeah. This thing that was floating over to go assist it, to go face off against Baylor. After getting hit by that thing, Getting hit by that turns around yeah. and looks now at you, Mund. <laughs> Come at me, bitch! Try it! What's it? Uh. Dang. <laughs> okay. Uh, this thing, seeing as its plot has been foiled to just keep shooting and shooting at people from the back, it is now going to go in with its claws against you, Baylor. Get some. Why did the wizard charge all the way in? That's what I'm saying. Because the wizard boy. is a melee wizard, that's why. He's a muscle boy. <laughs> I, I mean, look, I See, that does a hit. Nineteen. Right. Oops, Shield. <laughs> you. <laughs> oh, you have that spell. I see. <laughs> fuck you. Who <laughs> doesn't take shield? Me oh, when I cast. Me when I cast. Go fuck yourself, DM. <laughs> fuck you. That's all the shield spell <laughs> is. Is all the shield spell is is a big old fuck you. <laughs> no. <laughs> Unless it's a crit, then it's not fuck you. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Baylor, you watch as this thing. <laughs> The other fuck you spell. <laughs> Essentially, anything that's a react, any spell that's a reaction is basically a big old fuck you to to the DM. Count as hell. Absorb mm -hmm. <laughs> Elvis. Specifically has wording in it for magic missile too. Mm -hmm. uh, you watch as this thing goes in with its claw attack, slashes through, but hits your after image. This time it seems it thinks it has hit you, but you raise up your hand and it is blocked by a fort a magical force of shield. Baylor, it's now your turn. This creature is down for th yeah. Take a twist. Take a twist. Twist his dick. Twist his dick. Twist his dick. That, <laughs> that, that definitely hits it. Cut his dick off. <laughs> Real. So that's for 14 damage, and if it moves, it's gonna take 11.
that give him. I have a question. Does that also it. apply to force movement? No. Uh, no. 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 It's it's willingly. Okay. Okay. If the target willingly moves. Big five. I was about to say because then someone else should have been taking damage, but <laughs> never mind. Guys, that can't really do anything else at the moment. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna move on to the other side of it. Um, hope that my team are gonna make their way back. It's I. Yeah, it's guys, I... don't worry about this bitch. Uh, we got this. His eyes are now focused solely on you, Baylor. <laughs> guys, I think that was... Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, can you, you guys go help Baylor? We got this. If I was to step back, would it come for me or would it turn back to shooting? Am I the bigger threat now? Uh, Professor, from the darkness, it is your turn. From the darkness. Uh. Sorry. Let's shoot this guy without any disadvantages. Uh, yes, you can easily shoot that creature. Again, you're 40 feet up in the air. The slap, the slap rifle is a weirdly low range. I mean, it's, it's powerful laser gun. It's an SMG. Also, wait a minute, since the professor is above Scarlet, you can see what she really looks like. Uh, also, uh, oh, it, that was also an advantage if you want to crit fish. <laughs> oh, that's true. Fish for the crit. Yeah, Not 22. fish for the crit. 22 hits. <laughs> I mean, okay. Uh, 26 damage. You can also see what Scarlet looks like from up there, if you care to look. <laughs> Uh, I mean, I think it's a bit too late, because I have 24 paths. You'd have known what you looked like already. That is true. <laughs> the professor has the professor has the sight of a green but dragon, before, essentially. You literally, I mean, unless you can see through magic, you wouldn't have been able to see before. Uh, that's true. I have no way of seeing through magic. Not yet. Though, Interesting. Yeah, she's well, a hexblood. I see. I should sacrifice you. And my. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anything else in your turn? As this creature is now looking up at you, Professor, oh. just running around on the ceiling. Bonus that. Bonus. Bonus action hide. You know, I should just shut up. I should just say you end your turn so you don't do this. <laughs> oh, oh. I'm doing the... rogue things. Hold on. One of them might have a faster perception high enough. Not you. Not you. When the rogue plays rogue, you, you beat all of their passive perceptions. <laughs> what? Well, this thing. You can see me. Once again, this thing looks in your direction, blinks, and you're gone. These things are very annoyed by the professor. <laughs> speaking I of being annoyed, <laughs> speaking of things being annoyed, uh, this golem. I what are you gonna do? And what's really funny is I was, you know, I'm gonna keep doing this because I'm the plus six eight. Oh, that hits. Uh, Get crushed under the giant foot, dumbass. How, how does the golem finish off this creature? Because that is what it was left. He just steps on his head and then squishes him. You all watch as this huge golem lifts off his leg, squishes down on this thing, and keeps squishing until it's nothing more than a flat pancake on the ground. Killing it. Really gives him head That's funny. That's ironic. He called us a flap moment. And then, with the 50 feet of movement this thing has decided, it's centered. It's centered, right? Uh, yes, it is currently centered. No, I mean the 50 feet is still from the center of the token. Uh, yes. Okay. Boom, boom. <laughs> uh, Mun, you... As you're running... Mun, as you're running forward, you hear the stomps of a, a large creature behind you as it just runs over you. 
<laughs> Dive out of this fucking destructive path. What the fuck? <laughs> That'll be that. Bear bear. What are you hey, doing? Matt? It is now this creature's turn. <laughs> this creature does not like this. <laughs> Saw what that thing did it to its friend. It is not happy. It is going to try and life steal it. Twenty-one. Uh, that yeah, hits. Dealing 11 necrotic damage. <laughs> uh, also healing for 5. As... As it gains a bit more HP back from injuring your golem, uh, Scarless. Kuro, it is now your turn. Is it time to rip and tear? Okay, I'm gonna... I'm gonna get off, get up of prone. I'm gonna go right here and double Eldritch Blast. Okay. <laughs> pop pop. Uh, first one is a 12 to hit. Second one is a 10 to hit. I'm pretty sure neither uh, of those hit. Uh, both of those miss. <laughs> Real. Uh, bonus action, second wind, and that's my turn because, yippee. You sound so upset. Mon, this is your turn. <laughs> the fire. You sound so angry. Oh. Your job uh, to get 25 hit. 25 feet to this guy. Uh, actually... I'm not even gonna waste a spell slot on that guy. That guy's about to die. Uh... I'm gonna shatter, uh, on dude next to Baylor. Uh, where are you centering your shatter? <laughs> um... It's going to... It's a circle. God, I can take it! No, you can't. <laughs> <laughs> Because I'm, I'm using Destructive Wrath, nope. and it's going to be fucking max damage. In a fight, okay. right? Uh, it's a 10-foot radius, so... Okay, yeah, that... Yeah, yeah you yeah. can easily... Yeah, you can easily hit it without getting Baylor in it. <laughs> uh, professor! DC 15 con. Uh, professor, once again, you hear the familiar sound of a Shattered Sail going off in the distance. <laughs> <laughs> My, 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 my PTSD. <laughs> uh, con, uh, you said con? DC, yeah, DC 15 con save. Okay. It fails. Um, uh, is it made of inorganic material? Uh, it is very I, organic. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, I'm using, um, my, uh, channel divinity to... Uh, take full damage. So he's taking three d eight. Okay. Uh, uh, what is three d eight? Uh, three 24. times eight. Yeah. So he's taking twenty four points of thunder damage. Gotcha. Yeah. It. That is my chunk of energy. It vibrates and shakes from that shatter. As if it had teeth, you would assume it's be it'd be they'd be chattering right now. <laughs> Tuttering. Um, that was one. That was my uh, that was my action. Mm -hmm. Um, I guess I'll I'll cure wound. No, I can't do that. That's that's a fucking thing. Um, uh, that's it. I can't do much else. Try your. Uh, okay. Yeah. Now I'm good. I'm done. Okay. Scarlet is concentrating. It's now this thing's turn. Yeah, she can't do anything to take bonus actions on spells, but she really has nothing she can do anyway. Uh, it's now the thing's turn. This thing... Uh, <laughs> did not like that, Mun, but is... Gonna try and stab at Baylor regardless. At disadvantage. Don't look at them, you're fighting me! Miss. This frail old man. <laughs> uh, miss. <laughs> Blair, do, doing its best <laughs> to make it, make it, everything doesn't miss you, Baylor. Baylor the Untouchable, indeed. <laughs> uh, Baylor, it's now your turn. Gonna go in for another booming blade. 22. Baylor the Untouched. 15 damage altogether, and if it moves, it takes max 12 damage. Oh, max on one, sorry. And it's gonna 
he's going to step back five feet and he's just going to do like a come at me gesture. Uh, it is going to take, a, it will take an attack of opportunity. Yeah, miss, yet again. <laughs> Perfect, the OT. Taylor, stop, stop trying to lure it away from the giant golem. I'm pretty sure it can reach him if it tries to run. <laughs> From the shadows. Uh, Professor, it's, it's so your turn. big, it steps just take just take it further. <laughs> my way downtown. This tiptoeing yeah, amongst the roof. No one can see you. Creeping low. Making sure no one knows where he is. That That's hits. Uh, who are you shooting? The this thing. Yeah, that definitely hits. Roll your damage. Once again, you roll the same damage on both. <laughs> Eighteen damage. Uh, and uh, I I press the stealth action. Dang. That's the bonus action. Oh. Uh, as you stealth this time. You notice, as the undead creature's eyes still leer on you. <laughs> oh, well, shucks. And if then. only he had a ranged attack. <laughs> <laughs> and if, if only, only he wasn't I about... Didn't have... And if only he wasn't about to get crushed. <laughs> if only he had... <laughs> I didn't have it. I'm about to do a funny... Uh, ah, yes, the funny, oh. that one miss. Uh, this one falls off. Poor girl just fucking falls off. We love the resident girl failure. <laughs> yeah, total girl boss just fucking falls off and falls prone no. off the room. What's your name? Gatekeep girl boss girl uh, boss. I, I know GC didn't specify, but I'm specifying that she fell off and fell prone. <laughs> How much fall damage is that, GC? I don't know, it's I... a large, it's a huge creature, that's a damn. <laughs> What's her fucking name? Uh, Scarlet. Ashley! Look at Ash. Charlie, please. Please, Charlie, pick up the phone. Dang. Uh, uh, it is now, it is now, it is now the collector's turn. The collector, well, not the collector, it is now the subject's turn. It is going to open its coat and flash the golem and munt, and it does this. Uh, no! No! <laughs> Tricky, d d d uh, the tripled up man, old man off. penis! <laughs> I am going to need <laughs> Mun, I'm going to need a wisdom saving throw, and I'm going to need the golem to make oh, me a wisdom a saving throw. Okay, so okay, got it. I, I just wanted to double check that, but yes, uh, would you say this is a disadvantage because the golem has a vulnerability to psychic damage? Uh, no, it is not a disadvantage, but good to know it is vulnerable to psychic damage. <laughs> I mean, it has two resistances, so I figured there'd be a way to balance. Uh, what is that? Wisdom? Oh, God. Wisdom. Oh, uh, fuck. The golem takes 10 psychic damage and is frightened of this creature. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Immunity to frightened. So, so, question. Is this an illusionary thing? Uh, it is not this? an illusionary thing. It is... As it... You see, as it opens up its co coat, what you would expect... You would expect, oh, it's just flashing you like a naked body, but no, it is actually flashing you as it flashes you, you see underneath his coat the head, the severed heads of various people. Ew, grody old people! Ugh. As it flashes you, you just see it's fucking 18 inch meat. It's grody, ew, 18 inch meat, 27, you fuck! You get instantly charmed. Uh, well, no, you're... <laughs> well, you succeed. No, I'm... You no, only I'm take... You only take three points of psychic damage and are not frightened. Hmm. Okay. Un gonna... Unless you're resistant to psychic damage. I don't. I don't. I yeah. don't. You have don't resistance have... to penis. I have. I do not have resistance to old man shrink, girdy, <laughs> shrink man penis. Kuro, um, it is your turn. I'm gonna hit him hard. 
Punch him in the face! No, grab his ticket! Grab his ticket! Yeah, that definitely hits. Yeah. This will probably kill it. And. Look, we have to twist that is stick going to be. I'm re rolling one of those. Uh, 7 plus 8, 25 slash ping. How do you end this creature? <laughs> Yeah, as it's distracted, fucking flashing those two, Carol just comes up behind and just bottom to top bisects it. Uh, you all watch as this thing gets cut down the center in half. Dead. Get fucked. Weirdo. Okay, um, let's people? see. Wait, let me check something. Oops, never Shit. Uh, I was right here... Five. Yeah, I can make that. Make it over here. Bonus action attack. Bonus action. Crow goes after the two things that have been giving him the most trouble this entire combat. Mm hmm. And this is yeah, also the master. Twenty-five to hit. Yeah, that hits. Mm. That definitely hits. Rerolling that one. Uh, so nine plus eighteen, so twenty-seven slashing. Ooh. This thing is beyond bloodied. Kuro and the golem just doing all the damage. Kuro got back up and decided to choose violence. Hey, hey man. I only Kuro, missed points. No, violence isn't the answer. It's the question. Real. And Kuro's answer is always yes. Yeah. Uh, anything else in your turn, Kuro? Nope, that's it. Uh, Mund, it is now your turn. Guiding you bolting that thing. Okay, guiding bolts. I'm sorry. Six. That hits. Uh, five d six. Uh, just uh, you can just click. Okay. Uh, eighteen. Damn. Okay. Okay. He is at. He is essentially at death's door now, and he now has advantage, and someone now has advantage on their next attack against this thing. Troop team. Anything else in your turn, Mund? Guys! I don't know. Could I use the spell? No. I do not. Okay. Uh, Scarlet, you're uh, on GC, your ass. I, think that, I mean, GC, I, I really don't know why you didn't say that I would take falling damage before, because you know the golem is a form of concentration. Huge. Yeah, exactly. It's huge in concentration. I mean, okay. Uh, so if I took damage, okay, you would take one d six points of falling damage because the same. Oh, how how tall usually is the golem? Would you say? I mean, it's around the sun. And standard huge size creatures are like what twenty feet. Okay, then it would be two d six. I mean, yeah, that's nine damage and a con saving throw, right? Yep. You want to be the ten. You need a 10. <laughs> okay, so down. Golem doesn't go down and she still can't do shit this turn. Okay, you're on your ass. <laughs> I mean, she'll get up using the 15 feet of movement and then get back on. Okay. This thing's turn. This thing, which was preoccupied with Baylor, sees a different tasty target. <laughs> In the form of Kuro, who just slashed the heck out of it. It knows the threat. It wants to kill the threat. <laughs> Go for it. 24. Hits. For 10 slashing? I'm oh still no. up. Kuro didn't, hear, Kuro didn't hear no bell. <laughs> and because it missed... Oh okay, no, he's gonna it. repose. Do okay, it. repose it. Watch Who do you think you miss. are? Watch it misses. He has advantage. Oh, he yeah, does. You, yeah, you do have advantage. <laughs> Uh, so, oh, dirty 20, dirty 20 to hit. That, that definitely hits. Okay, and with repost, add the superiority die to the damage. For real, for real. Eight plus, what, superiority die, so that's a d8. Reroll that really two. Learn how so, to do, uh... eight plus eight, 16 plus one d8. Uh, 23 <laughs> slashing. Uh, how do you want to finish this creature off? <laughs> yeah, as it tries to slash at me, I just slash its claw off and then kick its claw back into it. 
Oh, fuck. <laughs> as you That's do, hardcore. as you do, blood spray, sprays from his arm, and as you kick it into his chest, hitting a vital organ, it just coughs up blood before falling over from a loud thud, dying. Ending the encounter. Baylor's gonna go, Oi, that one was mine! Stop stealing my kills! And he's just like, gonna turn to this creature now on the ground with this- Meanwhile, Demon Crow just out. standing over you, just, And what are you going to do about it? <laughs> hey, well, like, like no, covered, no, covered in- Covered him. in the dead body blood, covered in this thing's blood. <laughs> Kuros is covered, no, blood. covered on, in now. his own blood. Boy, come on now, it's too early to start fighting again. Please stop fighting. It's just looks bit. over the shoulder of the golem. Baylor looks down at himself and just like brushes a bit of dust off of his uh, robe. Uh, Professor is on top of the ceiling, just... Well, All of you surface dwellers, take pride in your kills. And then Kuro proceeds to cough blood out of his mouth <laughs> as he shrinks from his demon form. <laughs> <sighs> Way too common, Dargar. Way too common. I whittled it down. Made it easy for you. Sure you did. Of course you did. We, we need to go and speak to this bastard Damocles. Wait, wait, don't killing it. Wait, don't just rush in. Um, say, girl, can you, I'm just gonna jump all down your golem. Um, you, it'll be fine, you can jump on him. Jumps down. You oh. land on this golem's shoulders. <laughs> and, she, I... and, then she, and then she jumps down again. Oh, fucking backflips. I would request a short rest. Scarlet then slides down the golden's back as it slowly begins to shrink. Uh, I have to keep note of that HP. Hold on. Uh, what? So... It slowly shrinks a... back down to its little sphere form. As you see, as now you actually get a better glimpse of this little guy. Oh. That's a tiny aberration. Little buddy. Is that Kurt? He's, he's, he's the Krimbo. eyes are Kirby, yes. I stole the eyes from Kirby. He's it's Krimbo. It, okay. It's, it's Krimbo. Okay, so I don't know if you want to make that small. Several... May the Lord Jesus. I cannot make it small, unfortunately. There's several questions that have to be asked. Hey, how come the door? How come he gets to be smaller? Because I'm small. Because I don't know no, how I to don't. make people smaller, unfortunately, on World 20. I don't know. There's no can way. You just make it into, just can you define it as a drawing and then that makes it small? And then you can reshape it however you want. You can yeah. you you can reshape the tokens. I've done it. You can reshape. That's a that's yeah, a long do, way to do can. it. It's a long way to do it, but you're better off just making a fucking sh making like. Actually, uh, right now would be our ten ten minute break time. So go take a ten minute break to do whatever you need: bathroom, drinks, whatever. Yeah, and we can talk about how to fix the token because I know there's a way to do it. I know I've seen other DMs make small size creatures before on Roll Twenty. I it, I've tried to do it. I just can't for some reason. It's premium, but I have I premium. I have premium, and I I don't even know how to do it. And that makes no sense. I don't know. It used to be premium. Um, small tokens. Looking, I'm looking it up right now. Uh, speaking of which, so we're gonna kill that guy. Yep. Hero is going to reduce him to dust. Actually, why don't I just pull up one of my can, games? Can you can you not it. turn can you not reduce this one to dust? No. He betrayed I'd, us. I'd, He's getting dusted. I'd like one Epsilon unit. Well then maybe they should stop trying to kill us. <laughs> I mean that's not that's a bit too late. They're always gonna try and kill us. I mean It's as if none of you decided to listen <laughs> to his to his words to you. He's <laughs> This isn't out of rage or grudge or anything, but sure, go ahead. Oh no, kill that 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 doesn't change Kuro's uh, decision. Well, of course, I know Kuro's an angry monster who will just kill everything. My my decision, he'll, however, he'll is purely pragmatic. He only kills what tries to kill him. I, I just want to, dude. I just want to make money. <laughs> I just want to take his corpse and make money out of it. Make money, get bitches. I forgot. Yeah, this exactly. Is, I forgot. This <laughs> is the evil party. <laughs> real oh can you see i figured it out hmm. 
I. Look. So you can go when you right click on the token. If you go advance, you can set dimensions, and then if you set it to units, that makes your life easier. Uh. You can set it to 0. 0.5 by 0. 0.5, and that should achieve the same effect. Uh, I. Okay, set dimensions. Uh, 0. 0.5, you said? 0. 0.5, and that achieves the effect of a tiny token, because tinies can fit four in one square. Oh, gosh. Plus, it disappeared. Also, oh, Kuro, we don't know how many... Uh... uh -huh. We don't know how many epsilon units there are. At least I I would at least actually want at least one. You good, you see? Uh, <laughs> no, we can make a mistake. How did well, this happen? I, yeah, I, I mean, press, we don't I have press controls. I just want one in tech. I put the, I did the set dimensions saying 0. 0.5, 0. 0.5. It it then made your thing disappear. I pressed Control Z to get it back, and your big guy appeared. Uh, try it again, because I'm having no problem with it. You're setting it on units first, right? Not pixels. Uh, uh, put him back on. Uh, put your small guy back on. Little guy. Small guy. Look at him, dude. And yes, he has no mouth. He's so marketable. So you cannot scream. Little marketable plushie. Hey, uh, don't turn me into a marketable plushie. Uh, okay. Pixels, uh, it says 70 width by 70 height. No, set it to units. Okay. And now you can do 0. 0.5 by 0. 0.5. And that should fix the problem. There you Yee! go. Now he's tiny. <laughs> Little tiny creature. Good to know. Um, there are a lot of things to discuss right now, but I'm going to go buy myself a drink and get some food. <laughs> oh, if only uh, if only it worked a little bit better, I could put him on top of Scarlet's token. It's whatever. Whoopee! Little guy! You, can you not do He's elevation? So that would be layering of tokens, and it depends on... I mean, if you just quickly control... If I copied and pasted Scarlet, I think she would be uh, below it. But that doesn't really matter. You can just float around. Dang, I thought I did a good enough job of making of making Damocles likable enough to the point where his inevitable betrayal would happen that you would not immediately want to try and kill him. But I guess I was wrong. <laughs> I mean, we kept forgetting his name. What did you think would happen? <laughs> the professor. Oh, yeah, and I love Kuro, I love I love. Kuro was the only one who remembered his name, and even Kuro's just like, no, he's dead. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah. I already know that one of the features of this little cute guy does not apply to Kuro. One of their uh, personality traits is like loyalties, like something that <laughs> everybody's betrayed. He's like fucking angry. I mean, Baylor, Baylor, Mund, and Scarlet, Scarlet barely know Damocles. Professor yeah. and Kuro have spoken to him and been with him the most. What is the problem? What, Look what happened. Speaking? Evie spoke to him and then he died. I spoke to him for 10 minutes, and I didn't die. Evie spoke to him for an extended period of time. He spoke to him for 11 minutes. <laughs> and he's going to approach... Sorry, Kara, and he's going to go... Uh, go ahead. Sorry about, sorry about before. Um, uh, uh, you see, I when I get in the heat of combat, it's, uh, I used to be a gladiator, and it's like... I'm no barbarian, but it's my own kind of rage that gets me through it. And uh, now we've been double-crossed, it seems. Uh, it only adds to that anger. But I, I could maybe learn a thing or two from you. Uh, you seem to be a very big hitter. I can take the hits, but I can't do much damage myself. You want to learn something from me? Maybe one day, yes, if you will. Teach me. It's a bigger sword. Mm, got him. 
The bigger sword, you say? She obviously has a little... She has a sheath on her hip for a katana. Uh, I, uh, I kind of like the, the versatility of, uh, of my current sword, but I'll maybe <laughs> look into that. Yours is uh, quite big. I'm aware. Also, that's what she said. Oh, damn it. Wow. <laughs> so, should we all take a moment to rest up, or...? I mean, I can, actually. I would actually like that. I'd give my channel divinity back. Short rest time. Yippee! This is one of the way only ways the golem form heals, so yeah. Hey, um... Uh, That's a Kuro of, near uh, death. Kuro. Kuro. <laughs> That's mm. level one. What's level one? Hey, I was gonna heal him, you bitch. That's ten health for a level one spell slot. Actually, I didn't do Why that. Are you healing I didn't me? do that. I'm just saying, so you don't waste your fucking spell slot. You fucking uh, you 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 thinking? I'm taking that are level one dice? scroll. Yeah, I'm taking that level one scroll that I have, and I'm healing him for that. Okay. For ten. Okay. Uh, you see, as Mun take out this magical scroll, as he reads off of it. Um. Kuro, you feel healing magic come over you. You heal for 10 HP. <laughs> Less time we can wait. Okay. Uh, uh, take your short rest. Uh, use your hit dice, whatever you want to heal up. Restore any resources. Those of you who do regain resources back on a short rest. <laughs> Yeah, hold on. I need to do whatever 25% of 83 is. Are you when I regain all of my shit back on long rest? Yeah, that's on short rest. I was about to say, everyone regains everything back on a long rest. Shut up. <laughs> yes. No, uh, no, I don't regain it. I got, I, I got exhaustion levels, bro. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta sleep. Come. Um, that rounds up to 21, so that's... Oh, a, Jesus know. Christ, that's most of the health back. Silence, Jurgar. <laughs> Oh. Yeah, that's 70 health back. Oh my god, I basically just got fully healed. Wait. GC, the fun quirk there is that the golem can't receive any form of healing, but it heals 25% of its HP back on short rests and fully restores on full rest. Fun little quirk, eh? <laughs> I see. It's a flat 25% of its max health, so. It heals 21 HP right now on short rests. Looks like Kuro, whose HP bar is still dying. <laughs> I, I'm, I, I healed you just so you don't use as many heal dice, uh, like hit dice. Alright. Take the heal. Okay. It's funny you say that. Alright, I'm back. I'm front. Uh, welcome back. You can laugh. We're, now, all the, we're all in agreement on short rest. Is anyone going to uh, yep. question Scarlet, or is she just going to sit in silence and argument? I call a shot. Mun, Mun looks at you. What is this? What's the thing with uh, Earth dwellers? And you. You don't Jim. know what these are? She points to the little creatures just floating around her head, making big. Like, Clearly having some form of happy expression on it. I look down at the creature that currently was shooting spikes at everything, and I take the hammer and I kind of like forcefully throw it, drum, thump it down on top of the creature's head. No, I'm used to shit like this. Uh, Mund, actually, since you're nearby the creature, make me an investigation check. Well, it's certainly something interesting. Uh, um, Mund, as you're as you take your hammer and squish his head a little bit, you see on the back of this creature's neck a weird-looking device. It is metallic. Bro, you found the soft spot in the baby's head. <laughs> I push it! I push it! <laughs> wait, uh, wait, wait, wait. Uh, no, please. No, no, do, no do not push it. Uh, you see a no, small... No, you, see, you see a metallic no, device on the no, back no. of this... On this creature's head, it 
It, it looks broken, first of all. It looks broken as this creature has taken severe enough amounts of damage. Uh, you see that it was connected to what this creature's spine would be, and there were, and yeah, it's it's like your. It looks like a small little control chip of some kind. Uh, I, my hand comes off of the of the of the warhammer, and I I pluck it off of the back of it. Can I pull it off of its? Uh, yes, uh, with a loud with a loud with a loud scrunching sound, you can rip this thing from its spine. Now all of you yeah, can see. What? Now all of you can see this thing that uh, that Mund is holding. <laughs> I was gonna say, can I like try and like stop him from like ripping it out? Wait. Oh. What? Yeah. It's a metal. It's a. What is it? No, no, no! Don't, don't just rip it out. Uh. Fine. He fucking takes his hand back on the hammer, hoists it over his shoulder, and steps off the creature. <laughs> Thank you. Well, now this is a fine. Uh, bro, you know what to do. Uh, I will point out this thing looks very damaged, <laughs> even without Mund ripping it off. This thing looks very damaged. <laughs> yeah, but uh. I if want this spine. We had someone who knew how to use technology. Oh. Would I be able to use mend on this thing? No, it's not a short rest. I can't change my spells. Fuck. Oh. It's no, 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 no worry. I, I, I have mending, but also I Kuro. Uh, you think it's time? Time for what? Survival check. Come here. Are you we harvesting the? This... Yeah, we gotta harvest the spine without damaging the area, so we can see how this thing functions. Okay, uh, all of you, uh, I'm, not all of you, uh, if Kuro's helping, make a survival check at advantage. Love gloves. Eh. Please. I'll bring it uh, with Kuro's, with Kuro's big sword, you manage to surgically remove this creature's spine. The chip, the chip, while broken, still intact, connected to this creature's Spine. Uh, okay, who's uh, who's the who's our designated Raiden character? Um, uh, well, I have a katana, but that's about it. Raiden. No one can eat this. Doctor, uh, turn off my uh, fringe inhibitors. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, this is. Hey, hey, GC. Yes. Jack, are you slash J or slash SRS? <laughs> oh, good guy. Yes, yes, Professor. You have a question? <laughs> Before we go down more to this rabbit hole? <laughs> Tell me the value of this device. <laughs> In its current state, it is worth nothing. Uh, we can res I guess I can restore it, right? Yes, you can restore it. Good to know. <laughs> We just found a mind chip, dude, that can mind chip fucking aliens, so. That's. Sam, that's why don't you mind chip some bitches? How dare you? Look, the I'm mind trying. How dare you? The <laughs> alien The alien was the other thing that, that is now currently a pancake on the floor. <laughs> yeah, excuse uh, you, get it right on which thing got pancaked. Um, actually, it's a bottle on the floor. <laughs> hey, look. The foot you is flat. You guys saw a good align, right? I don't think uh, anyone here. I, I highly doubt any of these people are good aligned. Double Granted. checks. I no, am neutral good. Scarlet is neutral good. Lawful neutral. That's really funny. Uh, Professor's like neutral good. I'm still no, neutral. She attacked in self defense. She started the combat with a support tool. <laughs> uh, no lie. Well, in either, no, in either case, uh, even though alignment doesn't matter in my world, but regardless, uh, what were you about to say, Professor? It matters to me. It doesn't matter. Uh, no, I. <laughs> professor is just gonna bring up. So, about the epsilon unit. What's an epsilon? Oh, um, she pulls out a piece of paper. This 
it's uh, it's written here if you want if you want to learn how to do it. Oh, it can uh, you read? Thanks. Did you just ask her if she can read? Well, not I, everyone's literate. That is I, well. I can I I can read very much, thanks. Even he oh. can read. She gestures over at the little guy. Feature. All right. Uh, here you go. I think we'll be resting. Be rested. Uh, I. I assumed you all have rested by now. Yeah, Healing where you need to. Really rest. I guess this is during magic. the rest, right? So you can read it while we're resting. Did detect magic, find anything, and also Daylo's gonna search the necromancer guy. Uh, okay. Make me an investigation check if you're searching the necromancer guy. Detect yeah. magic. Outside of the, well, first of all, you notice, you notice specifically on Kuro <laughs> and Professor, and also Scarlet, various magical things just burst off of the off of them. <laughs> oh yeah, uh, well, I guess. All fitted. Oh, yeah. can we have said that Scarlet would have attuned to the displacement by now? Uh, yes, on the short rest, you now are attuned to the displacement cloak. So, Baylor, would you like a description of a magic item on Professor? Yes. What is that thing you're wearing over there? So, uh, this is how it's flavored. On her wrist, on and her like, and on her neck are a tattoo of a spider. That's if you look at it, they're glowing purple. Uh, hey, magic. that's my color. That's uh, that's interesting. Is this how you you find your way onto ceilings and and rooftops? Uh oh, if you're talking about yep, yeah, yep, exactly. It's interesting. Oh. I've not seen magic like that before. It's it's not. It's just the cloak of the racket, and folks can manifest it. Hmm. The spider cloak. How, how do I get something like this? Uh, shrugs. We have a wizard back home that makes his magic items. Oh well, yeah, I think I saw them for a minute. I I just came it's straight nice. here. And, yeah, not met anyone. Then you've been a great Oh, just help. as a side uh, note, you see back? that you see that Scarlet's uh, nor what you would have seen before about her pink hair bit being there is not there anymore. The hair is just red instead of pink. Uh, just Baylor. Note. Uh, Baylor, you would also see, looking at Kuro, the magical things around him. You would see around his waist, he's wearing a belt that gives off a very powerful magic. <laughs> What's this you've got on? Oh, you did steal that belt. <laughs> no? Pretty sure Kuro got it by himself. I'm pretty certain. Girl got the belts. Oh, it's oh. not the same belt? Okay. No, no, Is no. Is this what makes you hit so big? That's positive. Is this, is this Could enhancement? You hear belt? Magic? Yes, why? Oh, well, you were, you were talking all big a minute ago about, about my sword size. Maybe I just need a belt like yours. Maybe you just need to wield a um, hammer. Or maybe you just need some bitches. Show me your hammer. Guys, can we please not fight? And he hands oh, well, you uh, this uh, war hammer. <laughs> no, about about fighting. She claps her hands. We need to discuss something about the Epsilon. He's getting deleted. No. We need this one intact. I That's... never said he wasn't going to be intact. I said he's getting deleted. Oh good. You had you already pulverized the last one. I'd like this one to at least not be destroyed. Yes, so and if someone sits down for long enough, you'll be able again. to mend him back together. Yeah, that's difficult. It takes a lot of time. And it might last centuries. I'm not that skilled at this. So uh that means that he can't go ahead and crush this next thing, correct? No, I I would prefer that you don't do not shatter it, please. I I don't really have that much control over how strong he fights, so that's that's his own problem. Oh, if he could, could just 
you know, <laughs> sit on him, hold him down. I mean, I can keep him like this. Uh, As you could probably up. tell, I can't really do much when he's that big. Speaking of which, uh, which ones do you enjoy being big? Huh? Which all of which ones of you are, all enjoy being big? Uh, I Baylor. don't. Uh, Baylor, minds this question is also towards you too. Uh, I, I'm happy being this size. Things tend to just be find it difficult to hit me sometimes. I can go big. The, the, big hitter, the big hitter, the big hitter should oh. go big. Would, would you go, would you like to go, go further beyond? No. I mean, no. Don't need to. Well, uh, pulls out. She pulls out a bunch of like potions. Uh, let's see. One can make you stronger. So it makes you I bigger. I wonder if those would work on him. Oh, I should. Well, I've noticed that no form of magical healing works on him. So, I'm Trump's. not sure. Uh, above board, I have, a, I have a singular potion of growth and a potion of uh, greater... Uh, sorry. Kill giants, right? Above and... board, I didn't think about potions, so I have no idea of how those interact. I mean, yeah. I could, I, could, I mean, I can make use of those. I mean, the Warhammer uh, uh, grows off of strength, so I mean. No, I uh, the growth potion them. does also give you an additional D4 for the damage dice. I mean, yeah, because it just works the same way as enlarge, right? Yeah. I mean, yeah. I, I can, I can use enlarge as a as a dwigger anyway. It also stacks with enlarge. Does it? How yep. much bigger can you get past Gargantuan? Uh, uh not farther than Gargantium. But... Yeah, Gargantium is... No, no, I mean, technically speaking, Garg huge. Gargantium is, technically speaking, the largest a creature can be. Even though creature... Yeah, there's creatures yeah, but, beyond that, I thought. But aesthetically, you can go bigger. Uh, technically, you can go bigger, <laughs> and at some point, you become a titan-sized creature. <laughs> yeah, you can at be aesthetically point, bigger than Gargantium. Is ceiling even it. big enough to support that? No. There are ceilings. But do you, I mean, I mean how, how tall is the ceiling, do you see? Uh, currently in the room what? you are, it is 40 feet, but when you go into the hallway, it is currently 15 feet up. Oh, so golden form really wouldn't work in the hallway. It's good to know. I mean, I'll take yeah. the, 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 what is it, the strength? Yeah, the portion, uh, the healgens, yeah. No, the, the one, the growth. The growth portion? Yeah. Yeah, uh, I can, I'll take it, that. I can... Okay, if that stacks, I can pop that, then do enlarge, and now I'm doing 2d4 extra damage. Yep. It takes a it takes a bonus action to chug it chug it yourself. Uh, action to apply it to someone else, right? You see, that's how you work. Uh, yes. It takes a bonus action to use a uh, potion. I mean, it's an action to use enlarge. So I mean, fuck it. I can I can do it. Yeah, you can do it in a singular turn. Got us. Can I ask the party what is our plan? Uh, regarding the Damocles. Well, simple enough. The Epsilon unit has to be subdued. Do not try not to destroy it. Better in uh, death. You, you have known him longer than I have. Uh, did, do you know anything about him that could be useful in, in, in the fight? Well, he's a jailer. We can assess that he might have a bunch of uh, inmates that he'll use against us. Brainwash targets like this one. And he holds up the spine. She holds up the spine. Uh, Kuro, you would also remember all the weapons that he had at his disposal because you did talk to him about weapons. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, additionally, now that we know that this thing exists, we can target it. Do we know what weapons? Does anyone here know weapons that, that he might have? No. Um, I just Kuro, not here. Here. Or you discuss things with him, right? Do you discuss weapons by ch perchance? Mm -hmm. Would you like to write it in a paper or would you like to explain it by verbally? 
I mean, for the most part, he had regular weapons, but he did have this strange circular one that I can't quite remember off the top of my head. Oh, no, I do remember that. I remember I was there. Um, it shot things out in a direction. Right, it, it's, like, it, it, it's like a shotgun sword. Yes, yeah, it could be thrown, and then wherever it was, it, it shot out in directions, I think. Mm-hmm. Maybe, maybe if we spread out a little bit, that might give us an advantage. Uh, if someone gets close to him, then maybe that would give him a disadvantage. I, I may not seem like it, but I'm quite good in face-to-face -face combat. I just prefer you guys taking the hint. I can tell. Shrugs. As long as it doesn't involve getting blown up again. As he, like... I'll stand in front of anything. You can know. I mean, Does anyone want any fuel cells? Fuel cells? As long as they don't blow up again. I Here's a bomb! Quite <laughs> sure what that would do for me. I've oh, shit, dude. Look, he's got. If you want to talk about PTSD. Well, <laughs> I mean, I, above One. Florida, are those things five pounds or less? Uh, the grenade. Okay, I have two types right now. I have fuel cells, which, you know, they're raw shit. But I also have firelight, firelight grenades, which I haven't been using. Well, are they five pounds or less? No idea. Uh, they you would definitely be. Light? They would definitely be five pounds. <laughs> use grenades. Five pounds exact. Yep. I'd be we able could to take one out. or two. Yeah, who wants? Yeah, because if you guys don't have AOE, I'm pretty sure you guys I mean, would I like do. to have AOE. I do have AOE, but I mean, it's this, the, the little is... creature floats up to you to, and looks for one of the grenades. Yeah. Uh, I guess I spread. I'll, right, I'll spread out the grenade swords then. I have eleven. How much do you guys want? Grenades. Yeah. Yeah, I have about eleven of these. The creature looks to you, look, trying to gesture towards your grenades, ask like it's asking for one. You will have one, here. He takes it happily and is able to float with it. Uh, Kuro, would you like some of these, or do you still prefer just going in? I think your silence is enough. Uh... <laughs> Hello? Did Discord die? No, I'm here. No. You're here. Hello? Yeah, you're here. Oh, okay. Sponge, I don't know if he's uh, here. Oh, uh, okay, Baylor, you want any of these? How much do you want? I will grab a, a, a grenade. Let's see how right. they work. Uh, here. Here you go. Thank you You just throw at someone. Uh, pull this pin, and it should explode. Is it a decent blast radius? That's about 15 feet. Oh, that's pre a pretty good blast radius, yes. Okay, I'll stick about... that in the pocket. We're talking about blowing up. Keep the fucking grenades away from me. I mean... Okay. Um, my friend here can float up to 45 feet in the air, so he could definitely drop these things pretty easily. That is the idea, yes. That's what I've been doing this far. far. Maybe if you keep your bag open in combat and it could fly back down and grab another one and take it back up and it could keep on... That's definitely what I'm thinking, and I think I see that exact same look in his eyes. That would the be little creature is just ve seeming very happy with its grenade. It's well, um, I'll come if you can somehow fly to me, you sure. Well, we should be set. Remember, don't da damage the body too harsh, try not to destroy it. I'd like uh, to put one of those in the museum. It's kind of counterproductive for, for using productives for something that you don't want broken. Oh, these things are for the these thing... things are ones. No, the hordes. Jailers tend to have employees. Hey, uh, GC. Yes. Uh, it's not. That's not it. I did not mean to do that, but, uh, I'm gonna send this to the table to, uh, for a second. How do I do that? How do I send something to the tabletop? Okay, this right here. Yes. Uh, sure. it, it specifically says it fails where to say it fails 
Uh, storm appears. The spell fails if you can't see a point in the air where the storm cloud could appear. For example, if you're in a room that can't accommodate the cloud. Does that mean I can't use this indoors? Uh, you, uh yes, you cannot use this yeah. indoors, <laughs> unfortunately. Okay. Okay. Womp womp. The most useless, useless spell in this game at the moment. <laughs> yeah. It's going to be unless GC has like a secret like floor that's really wide open and pretending to be the outside. Then yeah, no, that's not gonna be helpful. I mean, I will say just We're for the sake of that spell, if it if it, it if the room is big enough and tall enough, I will allow it. It would actually but it, be really cool if a floor was like mimicking the outside. But anyway, because this shit well, is. Here's the thing. I'll... Here's the thing, uh, the, in the library, there was a thing that's straight up there. It was huge, right? So, there has to be a place like that here. I mean, the, 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 the cylinder's 10 feet tall and 60 feet wide. And mm -hmm. this room ring currently is way smaller than 60 feet. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, and, uh, I gotta ask this above board now. You guys want to keep going and kill the warden now, or go back and grab more weapons? I think we can do it with our current. Yeah. Yeah. I think let's we can kill. Let's thing. kill the warden. Yeah, I'm okay. I'm okay with either. It's just my my goal in the set back home. So I seem to be. Uh... We are prepared. I uh... mean, you have an on-demand grenade bomber essentially in the form of the little creature, who's no one asked the name of yet, but. You have a little bomber as well as a giant gold. You give it a name? I mean, it clearly, I mean, he is sentient. He has his own mind. Hello, little thing. His name you is Aiden. What is your name? He, he can't talk, but his name is Aiden. Oh, I thought you said he sentences. I mean, sent. He literally has no mouth. And can and therefore must but he must scream. Not even in golem form does he make any audible noises. He just exists. Cries as no one understands my reference. <laughs> I know exactly what you're what? talking about, but he does not have a reason to scream. Hello, Aiden. That was my reaction, you did this. He floats up to you and, like, gives you a happy look before returning to the side of his master. You realize when you start giving things names, when it dies... Oh, he can't die. Or, at least, I don't think he can. You wanna chest that theory? Well, okay. anytime he's, like, quote-unquote die, he just kind of... Goes back into my hair, and then, like a couple hours later, he spawns again. You are an odd creature. Not a lot of people know about these things, but I'm not the only one with one. Well, not my expertise, sadly. <laughs> That'd be closer to your expertise, is, is it not, Cora? <laughs> I'd say that knowing the history of this would be like a history 18 or 17 BC. It's whatever BC. At that point, but I'd be happy to tell you the history if PC has his PC. I, I don't have Arcana. I don't know what the fuck that thing is. I mean, if you want to try and figure out about this thing, you can make me a history check. <laughs> Alright. Is that one of your doctorates? Uh, yeah. You would definitely you yeah. know much about these things. Just that, I mean, they are. They exist. Awesome. Awesome. Those that who wield them can cast magic with them, but that's about it. <laughs> I mean, oh. I will say, as a DM, <laughs> the person who should be describing this, <laughs> uh, well, Professor, you didn't read up. I did read up. How did? <laughs> professor, <laughs> uh, you've heard mm -hmm. of magical assistants that help people, but nothing of this caliber. He's like a really enhanced familiar, in a way, I guess. Mm. Down, 
Uh, yeah, ma'am. Uh, sorry about that. Uh, yeah, I see a creature. So it's like a special familiar. In a way, I guess. Uh, we must have the property of both gum and bungee then. Uh, let's go. Uh, following the professor, you all walk forward. <laughs> Walking forward, you eventually get into a large into a large room. The ceiling is about 20 feet above you. Uh, in here, I'm you... Preparing, see, hmm? preparing you a large... Uh, you see Sorry. some furnishing, um, mostly this, and mostly some carpets, uh, a couple couches. You also see... You also see a desk. And behind that desk, you see... A certain Damocles, as I move you over to this map. Off in the distance, you see Damocles currently scribbling down on what seems to be a notepad on a book of some kind. Uh, flanking him, uh, Kuro, <laughs> Kuro and Professor, you would recognize the robots flanking him as as the jailer boss that you found, fought on the outskirts of this town. Do I still, uh... I have the observant feet. Uh, and I know walking. the fact that they have a, they have a weakness. Uh, yes, <laughs> you would know what the you would know that they have a weakness. Uh, as you walk up, he you see Damocles look up and put down his quill. Mm-hmm. Well, I'm glad to see that you guys survived. Enough chatter. Well, I, I understand pro- programming, right? I understand that you're mad, but I had to make it look real, okay? As he gets up from his desk, he walks over to one of his jailers, and you see him just push it down, and it falls over, not working. (laughs) I'm sorry for the semantics. I had to make it look real, quote unquote. Oh, he's asleep. (laughs) <laughs> Sponge is sleeping. <laughs> you, Kuro has fallen unconscious standing up. <laughs> yeah, actually sleep. yeah, he he fell asleep last. He fell asleep uh, in my session too. Rip, rip. <laughs> well, we're gonna have that in the background. I yes. turned down. <laughs> yes. Uh, you watch as Damocles walks to the front, walks to the front of his desk. I'm tired of how things work around here. The constant testing, the constant torturing of innocent pe- of innocent people. I'm just honestly tired of it all. And after seeing your friend, after seeing as your friend died, Baylor just <laughs> casually just walking around the room. He doesn't seem to try and stop you, Baylor, but he does take take notice of your presence. <laughs> Once I saw you come back with your dead friend, I decided enough was enough. I have cut myself from the system, so to speak. I just needed that. I just needed that last distraction of yours, that battle you did, to. Make it at least look like I was still on my creator's side. Hmm. Thankfully, he bought it, and well, I guess you can say I'm a free agent. He says as he looks over to both of the jailers who do not seem to be work uh, working at the moment. And what, well, Damocles, would uh, have happened had we not survived? Well, well, I had, I know, I knew that your group, well, at least those two, he motions to the sleeping Kuro and the professor. I knew that those two, at least, I had seen their fighting capabilities along in the rest of the prison. I knew that, and if I assumed as much for the rest of you, I knew you guys would manage to face off against these foes and maybe come out with a few screw scratches and bruises, but 
I honestly had faith that you would win. Well, I'm glad you had faith in us. You see, no though, way. I have lost it's faith in you. That guy is dead in the other world war. Damocles. Before anyone. <laughs> Before Damocles. anyone does anything rash. I would like to propose a deal. Uh, Damocles will lock Mun, up. Mun tightens his grip on the on this warhammer. You see as he, what? you see as he places, he take he takes out the long sword. The large great sword from his back and places it on the ground and raises his hands. I come to you unarmed, and I'm willing to discuss. I know my I know it's hard to trust me, considering I did essentially put you in a death trap. But know that I what I speak now is 100% the truth. I truly do not wish to be a part of this creator of minds game anymore. Can I inside check him? Yeah, uh, I was go about ahead. to say that as well. Uh, Baylor and, uh, and Mund, you can both make me an inside check. <laughs> yeah. I think my passive insight's too high for this. 19. Uh, oh, all yeah. three... Uh, uh, with your passive insights, uh, Professor, uh, with your critical, Baylor, and with your 19, you can all tell he's being completely honest. Well... I'm not convinced. But I take the hammer and I fucking strike the warden behind me. Oh, uh, please don't. No. <laughs> Motherfucker. Uh, Why? Uh, make an attack roll at advantage because he is in it is incapacitated. That's too oh, cool. no. Uh, I always do this. Hold on. Hold on. I, I need to see what these things they see was. It's been a while. I cry. Professor uh, gets a flashback. <laughs> uh, let's a thousand see. yards there. You slam down on this creature, but your, despite hitting it, your hammer does not make full impact against it. You just barely miss its AC. But oh. as you hit it, it does not seem to move or make any form of resistance. You're basically beating a dead horse over there. He says as he looks over to, towards you, Month. They have been deactivated. They would have attacked you on sight had I not done so. Well, ah, all right. The deal is simple. This whole floor, every automaton, I stake a claim in it on him. Well, the issue there is, I, though I deactivated myself from the system, I cannot deactivate them from the system. He motions what towards the jailers. What is your end, Professor? Well, simple. Pr profit. These things. You seem to profit you... off of these things. Yes, that is the point of us coming here. Where? I suppose you haven't been briefed, but uh, we'll take care of it. Either way, I. S Personally, I have no grudge against you. I've seen this whole play happen before. If you want out, sure. But do you know you will be hunted? Your kind isn't exactly welcome. Hmm. I figured as much. I'm willing to assist you if it means anything with any of this place. Though... If you were to read my notes, he motions back to the book that Baylor is currently reading. I have, I have essentially posted <laughs> everything that that book says in the side chat. It for anyone oh interested, interested in wanting yeah. to read it. Well, I ain't reading all Shit. that. <laughs> you gotta put that somewhere else. I'll read it later. But the... Yeah, I'll read it later. Huh? Holy fuck! Uh, I will say well... some. Uh, I will say some of the bullet points of what this mm -hmm. is. It lists off like multiple of the uh, of the inmates that were found in here. It goes into a bit of a description of each one. Uh, specifically, uh, actually, Baylor would not recognize this, but Professor, if you were to look at the notes, you would notice that it does mention Xena and brings up the fact that Xena 
herself is not who she appears to be. <laughs> she is Blind apparently bastard. she is apparently of a race that can change its form. <laughs> Holy shit, change, changeling change. real. <laughs> Changelings, which are a very rare race <laughs> in my world, <laughs> but besides <laughs> that, besides that, he also goes into topic about a control chip. You can put two and two together. He made the control chips as a means to try and control prisoners to keep to keep them mm, tame, so to speak, not hurt anybody. Uh, uh, above huh? board, congratulations! If you ever wish to make the the reedu, uh, I forgot what I called it now. Essentially, one of the you now have one of the items. You now have an item that for a requirement for a camp upgrade. Congratulations <laughs> with the control ship. Yep. After you fix it, of course. <laughs> Though with Damocles here, I he can help that. you. Though with Damocles here, gotta... he can help uh, you make mass reduce these things. <laughs> oh, for the construct yeah. reprogram. Yes. <laughs> yeah, the reprogramming center. Uh, actually, really fucking useful. Well, technically this whole place is yours by right. Usually that's how things, things work. But now that I oh, take yeah, a claim of in wish, them... We need to get a graveyard for Nihibi. Oh no. I'll take care of that later. Now that I've taken a claim on this whole place, in the name of the uh, expedition, you have no right to them. Did you agree to this? You have taken claim on the chips. I'm taking no? claim I, of this place in the to name be honest, of Undermine. To be honest, I would, I would wish nothing more to see this whole place raised to the ground. But I'm, I'm sorry. What, what did you say, Dwan? Hmm? Mon said something. Uh, I said you, you, you claimed, you claimed stake on the, on the prison, on the actual uh, chips. No, no, <laughs> the automaton specifically. Yeah. Well, this facility is, is now under the control of Undermount. <laughs> Who? I'm laying claim to this fucking building. <laughs> I, I get that. Claims, but this whole building? Everything. We're in this. I guess this the facility I... itself. Hey, well, That's sir. a big reach. Okay, let's uh, claim around the walls and with this short sword out. He, at him. he looks and at you. He's going. He's saying, uh, You betrayed our trust today. You betrayed us. And if you ever do that again, I will kill you. But that sadly is not our call. If you'll allow us, can you be cut? Holds out his arms. If it brings you some form of safety, be my guess. You'll also see that he drops to the ground. Uh, this circular line of what seems to be a lot of knives uh, uh, next next to his giant greatsword. Oh, nice. Uh, he has no idea. She has no idea what the fuck that is. So te okay, above board, technically, we this is uh, killing him is not really our call. The uh, Edition guy. Got his name already. I will kill you, and I'd like to see anyone try and stop me. <laughs> he says as he runs away. That's <laughs> <laughs> really brave. But uh, I okay. Above board, I we can we should probably go talk to the guy who's actually running the whole expedition. Then Tobias. I, Tobias. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Jesus. You're At least somebody remembers. At least somebody remembers. <laughs> I don't remember names. I'm picking up the great sword, the shield. I've like shielded. I've dropped the okay. the mace in a, in its little holster, and I've put the shield on my back. And I'm picking okay. up the great sword in that belt. Hey, is okay. that shield uh, special? Or is it just a shield? It's just a shield. I already yeah. have one. It's on my yeah. back. Mun, uh, we'll have to discuss this laying claim to this whole floor. This entire That's an facility odd... is mine. 
and on your mounts. You have That's a problem. Odd. You can fight me on it. And I walk away. Of course I have a problem. That's Why weird. We That's a weird claim. <laughs> Professor gets in your way, Mon, as you try to walk away. <laughs> no, he just... No, she's just fo no, she's gonna try and like follow from behind. <laughs> Mun, do you hear the nagging? Uh, Mun, do you, you hear the nagging? Of types don't understand. Always laying, always speaking about fairness and, and this is the city of gnomes. Democracy. We have no right to this place, technically. And, and gnomes, <laughs> guys, are under me. Huh? Academically, it's a shrugs in this hall with you all. <laughs> Alright, can someone actually haul these uh, two fucking jailers so we can sell them? Or scrap uh, them? Um, the hallways uh, themselves are only 15 feet in height, right? Yes, they're well, only I can carry feet. them. I have so, I can't help you there. What, I, I'm, I, I have 18 strength. I can carry one, I'm sure. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the golden has a 24 uh, strength. I'm having oh, no. Kuro's... We're having Kuro carry one, it's fine. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Kuro... Wake up! Wake up! Wake up! Wake up! Wake up! Funnily enough, Baylor, as you try to smack him, smack him with your staff, you would miss. What? What a deceivingly hard to hit head. His head is made of stone, it seems. Honestly, if I try, if I touch him, he might die. So I'm not trying to. I I uh, guess I'll drag him back to camp. Uh, assuming uh, what, Damocles would what? assist in holding these things. Oh, and another thing. Uh, Baylor, you would notice one other thing. Uh, you would hear him give a whistle as another creature appears. You notice that there was a cup on the desk. A cup that holds. And from that cup, you see this creature come forth. A small dragonoid-like <laughs> creature brown in color but smelling of coffee oh it's one of those oh my god things. i remember these things what the hell are they would, would Baylor know what this is yeah okay. make an arcana check <laughs> or survival oh uh, well Yo. okay no arcana makes it uh <laughs> Baylor, you would know of some forms of draconic creatures that some people keep as pets. Some would keep as familiars. Uh, this is a, this is specifically a coffee dragon. Uh, we we bring back the epsilon unit back to uh, Tobias. You've got a coffee dragon. Hmm, yes, he he was a weird thing that we discovered in our many exploits upon the surface. Uh, he see. Uh, well, can you even drink coffee? Uh, I, while I cannot consume the things he makes, he, for some reason, took a liking to me, and, well, I decided to keep him. Baylor's gonna, Baylor's gonna lean in and try and, try and stroke the coffee dragon. It growls at you for a little bit, but Damocles gives a look, and it's, and it begrudgingly lets you pet it. Very cool. I didn't look at it with like glare. <laughs> it sure looks back at Iden with a glare. <laughs> the rival, the there rival. There cannot be more than one cute marketable item in this party. And only one, be one. I'm <laughs> fighting a comfortable head with you. Iden is still holding the grenade. <laughs> <laughs> it still has the grenade. <laughs> he never uh, gave uh, it to Scarlet. He refused. Before we go fucking crazy, we really should go talk to Tobias. I I I I've, I've walked out the room with with the thing above my head. I'm assuming okay. this thing is comfortable with you. I can persuade you to uh to part with it as an apology to what you've done to us today. <laughs> this fucking Jesus. <laughs> we're just That's... we're just jacking this dude. That he is... lied to me. This is mine now. Chill. Chill. <laughs> He's been nice. To... Most nice epsilon unit to us thus far. <laughs> that is completely oh, up to. Yeah, wasn't the last one just a complete fucking dick? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Archimedes was an insane asshole who experimented on everything. 
no. This this honestly is like a really okay kind of plot line. I'd rather have this than Archimedes. <laughs> yes. More more fucking this. Less Archimedes boys. <laughs> uh Baylor, as you say this, he looks to you. Speed Archimedes is V2. He looks to you. I, I mean, mean have it ha having a live Epsilon unit is also really nice to have in general, so I mean More uh, scrap. I mean that is sure. entirely that is entirely up to him if he wishes to accompany you. Though he yep. may act a, though he may act as my pet, he I really have no control over him. He can do what he wishes. I, I force I him not to do it. I look down at him. Above board, Scarlet just looks through with the Do I come with us for a bit? Uh make a I don't want to say animal handling because this thing is far beyond beyond an animal. Uh, it, hmm. If it's a coffee dragon, it's actually a little sentient. Uh, These are, uh, if if they're part of the race, yeah. I think they are. Then they then they most definitely have a have a sentient. Baylor, so make me a persuasion check. <laughs> Not nature. Make me a persuasion check. Oh. This thing is sentient <laughs> and can slightly understand you, actually. <laughs> Yeah, it's closer to us. It's pretty much a quiz. Yeah, quite. Yeah, it looks at you, Baylor, and sticks its tongue out at you. It does not seem to care much for you, Baylor. Maybe next time I'll win you over. See you soon, Damocles. <laughs> Baylor, now Damocles is friend. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no. As I. Over. Uh. With your prizes in tow, you head back to camp. Uh, as you walk back to camp, uh, walking through the normal thing, normal pass, you pass by every koi member you pass. As they look at you, they oh, yeah, all. Did anyone bother dragging Evie's body back up here? Uh, yeah. Dam uh, Damocles would definitely be like, I, I'll take your friend, <laughs> since looks at the rest of you, yeah. you all seem to not care much. <laughs> Uh, I will. I mean, I will, most of us don't know him. I will say. I um, really know him. Uh, most of the koi members. Most of the koi members are, as you pass by them, in both the study area that Archimedes once held, and outside through that normal hole. You would notice, as all of them, would look in both. Would look in shock at seeing Damocles. And then, and then look a bit mournful, a little bit, as they look at the dead body of Evie, currently draped in Damocles' arms. Professor is gonna like wave at the coffee boy teammate and start walking towards Tobias. Hmm. Who am I bringing this, this this fucking this fucking machine to? Is it Tobias? Or... Yeah, Tobias, right here. Okay, I, I'm following. Uh, you team, all, so. you all approach the main tent. Uh, Tobias has left his, ha, has um, has left his tent, seeing that there is now a commotion in camp. As he looks out and sees, well, all of you approaching, with Damocles in tow, a coffee dragon on his shoulder, and a and a dead Evie around his uh, in Damocles' arms. He approaches and mm -hmm. immediately looks to. And also seeing the new faces, I, what on earth happened? He says, looking specifically to the Be professor. Before <laughs> we, uh, before we discuss anything in public, can we discuss some things in private? I mean, sure. Oh, some things you should also know. Uh, Marvin and Leviathan were here for a brief moment. <laughs> Though, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, as they, uh, they uh, poofed here out of nowhere in a puff of smoke, and along with them, they left behind a few things. Oh, I should bring up, probably bring up. Both Marvin and Leviathan have left the camp. They, I got, I got some info from Marvin about a possible location on this creator fellow, and he seems to have taken it. He is now currently on his own mission, looking for that, and Leviathan 
he's been summoned by his druid circle. Uh, apparently he was friends with... Apparently he was raised by druids, and they summoned him back to where they needed him. Uh, I they thought did. he was a goddamn warlock. Well, I mean... I su uh, well, I mean, I suppose uh, they have their own, own personal issues. Uh, they, did exactly they did leave behind something. They did leave behind some things. Uh, as they teleported in, they, for some reason, teleported in with 25,000 gold. <laughs> I don't know no. why. They just did. And they also left behind a few of their armaments. Well, well, uh, Marvin left behind one of his armaments. Uh, Leviathan seemed to have left behind another thing. Above board, uh, Leviathan has left behind the illusioners, bra the illusionist bracers, and Marvin has left behind the bloody spear. <laughs> Those are the items that they left behind before they left. You, you also have the monks yourself. <laughs> you also have twenty five thousand gold pieces now because that was a part of the wish spell that Leviathan cast before he, as he teleported out. I'll put that. Uh, I'll put that in the catalog. I'm 2,000 from AV. Uh, uh, it doesn't need more than like a thousand gold pieces. What? What? Do you, you're, you guys are not getting paid yet. Wait a second. I know. Yeah. Later. Uh, Damocles would walk forward, <laughs> and I see you come back with. Well, besides other new people. Though I do recognize some of you. He looks to both Mund and Baylor. Uh, Mund and Baylor, you would both yeah. definitely have. Uh, actually, Mund, Baylor, and Scarlet, you would all recognize this guy as the guy who essentially informed you, "Hey, go into these ruins. This is what you. I already have a party in there. Uh, if you can, go help them out." <laughs> we'll have to discuss but some. Scarlet things. looks a little different now. Uh, yes, <laughs> he looks to Professor Dent Damocles. I think we do have a lot to discuss. <laughs> well, uh, if I may, something in private. He I'm motions to his. Here. He the the gnome no motions to his tent as Mun says that. Uh, well, he looks around and with a bit of a wave of his hand. The rest of the coin members uh, seem get the idea and turn around and go off to their own business. <laughs> well, he says looking at Monted and to the professor. What is there to do? What happened yes, in there? <laughs> well, uh, she pulls out the, the report that she's been writing on the way here. Uh, he takes it he does his speed reading as he usually does. Hmm. That is. Huh. This is a very interesting. He then looks up to Damocles. So, your. Yes, I. I am not. With my creator anymore. And I am here to potentially assist in any means to take this place down for it is honestly a curse upon this land that is hmm <laughs> Tobias looks at Damocles a bit shocked to hear this and then looks to the professor is he uh, trustworthy? <laughs> nope not really well yeah we brought him up here specifically so we could all jump him but the decision's still yours. Um, I have no real say in what to do with him. Tobias looks at Damocles. Well, from what these reports say, and honestly, having someone who has been in those ruins for I don't know how long, alive and well, and can actually talk to us and is willing to talk to us, I think it would be best if he stays with us alive. All right, then that be upheld. As for the other thing, uh, the floor has been claimed by Munnum. 
he looks over to the door guard. Uh, care to explain what she... belongs to Undermount. I you... spilled blood there. It is mine. You do realize this is completely foreign soil to where you are from. <laughs> Regardless, it belongs there, you know. I mean... I do not approve, though that doesn't really concern me. We're gonna have to discuss this yourselves. I'm, I mean, as far as I'm concerned, those are really nothing more than words. You have no real political jurisdiction here. You would have to speak to our king if you wish to actually lay claim to any part of the ruins. <laughs> will speak to your king. Well, he's currently all the way... Baller, dude. <laughs> Wait, what did you say, Mond? <laughs> I will speak to your king when I get the chance. Essentially. <laughs> Mon, Mon is so fucking baller, dude. <laughs> well, uh... Kills one ball, partakes in one fight. I'm the king of this land. I did. I listen, listen. Dwigar hate, hate gnomes, bro. I'm gonna be honest. I, I give no shits about what this guy says. Well, God damn it! There's mo I literally tried to help balance the racism problem. <laughs> I just we got the ultra racist. We got the guy who's about the one who was minorly racist for a girl who doesn't care about it that much, and now you have mega racist. Well, <laughs> the world balanced itself. <laughs> Tobias looks to you, Mont. Well. I suppose our king is in for an interesting arrival then. However, from the sound of it, you have done your next part of this, your next part of the goals I had made for you. You have completed this floor. Oh, Do you... and that that part I'd wish to discuss a bit further. Um, yes. I've also laid claim towards all the automatons, at least by right of finding. They are, however, still Roman. He looks to you. He, he was looking at Mun's a bit, a bit. Uh, he was he was glaring at Mun for a bit, and now he's glaring at you, Professor. Ex care to explain oh, how you? Oh, I'll, I'll, I'll how save do you me the prattle? Save me the prattle. I just said that to li you have some level of claim for the camp itself. It's still yours. Well, <laughs> I can't. Sim well, okay, that's good at least to know. I can't simply give all of the findings to other kingdoms. Some of it has to be done given to Haya. <laughs> well, well, if I any more of those, more. if that's if any more of those things are there, I'd like I'd, uh, at least like one. Looks at that, points at the giant fucking thing. <laughs> ah yes, uh, I've been meaning that. What are you planning on doing with that thing? It is just standing there. Menacingly, it is giving some of the member members here a bit of the heebie-jeebies. Is it standing there menacingly? I can well, as long as I like. Hey, that's mine. <laughs> as long as I don't die, it should be fine. And I don't plan to die. Hmm. Well, regardless, you have completed the next part of what I asked of you. On our floor in these. Mysterious Ruins has been completed, and with that, I also give you your reward. Of a board, you get the paid-out price of 10,000 gold pieces, and... That's 35,000. And you all level up. You are now yes. level 7. No, oh, wait. Level 7. No, level you're level seven. 6. Level 6. Level I 6. Say, I was like, huh? I <laughs> misspoke. I misspoke. What? That's a different party. That's a different party as no, almost level 7. No, he's at level 7! We're level 7! <laughs> You're level 6! It was a missing point! It was a missing point! You calm the fuck down! You calm the fuck down! You calm down! You calm down right now! Strangles, mud. Shush. Shush. Silence you. Alright, alright. Alright, alright. Fucking... Wait, how... Can you, like, type out the fucking rewards so I can split it up? Uh, well, it is 10,000 gold pieces, plus uh, 25,000 from uh, from Leviathan, plus, I guess, the 2,000 from Eevee if you're looting the, the, that from his dead corpse. 
That's uh, that's going to his family. He signed a contract. Above board. Looks looks a hack. No, not nods, knowing that there is absolutely no family that he can go to. Fucking dead. <laughs> well, it's going to his next of kin. He who has would he... no next of kin. I, I don't fucking know who's his next. There has to be at least one next of kin. Okay, he I signed in. in body he signed in, in one man's name, and that is who it'll go to. That is yeah, it. there you go. That's where the money goes. Okay, so. Altogether, you got 35,000 gold pieces from this whole endeavor. Uh, I already added the 25 to the, catal the catalog. Okay, so that uh, would be 10,000 yeah. so 10, gold pieces that can be split amongst the party. Uh, Wait, that part... 25 pieces are thrown to where? <laughs> it, it got oh. put in the catalog because that's where... Uh, that's, that's camp gold. Okay. The, so uh, the thirty-five stuff, you guys, you know, we split that amongst ourselves. I believe this was also mm -hmm. already added at some point. Uh, hold on. It, it just it, uh, it got added like a little bit earlier. I I just added it. Mm. Oh, oh yeah. This is six level, right? Yes. I get an upgrade to my features. <laughs> upgrades, people, upgrades. Oh, I I'm glad. Get more caster. Oh, it's fun. Sponge, I'm glad that you're awake now. <laughs> Stares at You were snoring. <laughs> I heard you. Oh, you were slumped. Music. You were slumped. I heard. Uh, uh, how how much is ten thousand split among six people? Um, uh, two math. Three? Is it one three? That is, is one false. One point three. One point three. One three 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 three. Yeah, I essentially get the equivalent of Warcaster at this level. Yippee. No one answered me. Oh, 1,666. Oh. Point. Uh, essentially, 1, essentially, yeah, it's 1,666.6 repeating. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. And until it gets. Oh, and goddammit, I have to go get the, I have to go get the new chariot, the new shoot for the gold. I'm I'll take the spare one. Baylor, you gain uh, one. You gain one extra gold piece. <laughs> one copper piece. <laughs> you can, yeah, you can get the extra. Fuck it. Why not? You're telling me for every two additional hours I work, I make an additional dollar? <laughs> Sign me the fuck up. <laughs> okay, so someone explain to me where this gold is actually going to. So the twenty-five went to camp funds. Yeah. Okay. okay so and we got the ten thousand. Okay, month, yeah. month. Okay. I have not given you access to that. So, hold on one second. Because there is actually something. Uh, Baylor and Mund. Uh, one second as I give you access to this thing. Uh, above so I'm, board. I'm trying, to, I'm trying to figure out what this, this camp fund is. Uh, yeah. So, uh, Mund, above board while you're getting access. Consist all of the, all of the, the golems, uh, like, scrap, all that shit. That's that's like been uh, that's been dragged towards camp funds, mm -hmm. while the the mission like the mission money is our like individual. Ours. Okay. Uh, you should see. Cause... Okay, there should be now a. Hold on, as okay. I. Yes. Uh... Yeah. Uh, if... Yeah. If you, you look, probably show them the upgrades as well. Yeah. Yeah, uh, I have given you all access to upgrades and to the catalog. There should be a PDF that says upgrades and a PDF that says catalog. I've got upgrades. Okay. I don't have catalog. Yeah, I have upgrades. So, right. okay, uh, let me ex let me explain these then. The Dean, uh, the upgrades that's basically like facilities in the camp itself. Those are upgrades. We, you know, we fucking spend money, we get access to them shits. Uh, mm. The catalog is basically a resource page for shit we put into the camp. What what do these things do? Like if we uh, read. Them, uh, yeah. Read the so yeah, the 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 camp oh, COI God. is is gives examples of it. Yes. Mm -hmm. Gives all uh, this stuff. Cool. I will I will also say above board. Uh, as of right now, the party currently has tier two for the apothecary, and tier two to the magic shop, and has also bought the magic <clears> shop. <throat> Mm -hmm. Perfect. So, so we have a fuck ton of money and a good amount of scrap. Uh, I, I want I, in the shop. Yes. Uh, 
I also forgot. I for, also forgot. Uh, did you add into the catalog that you guys got a uh, hundred thousand scrap from that floor that you were on? Jesus. Uh, no, not yet. Okay, you, it the bird creature that you guys fought when you went to its nest. It had like a hundred thousand scrap on it, so that's why. Oh, all right. Ooh, and I get a new cantrip. Uh, I'll I'll add that then. A hundred thousand. I hold oh, on. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Hold on. I might, I might be misremembering. Yeah. It, you might be adding too many zeros there, There's buddy. a lot of zeros. There's a lot of zeros there. I'm right, gonna... right, right. It's not 100,000. 10,000. My bad. <laughs> oh, right. well, okay. I it's suppose in... I should learn mending. I, I have useful. mending, but having two that can do that is really nice. Also, it also... Yeah, because this is a level I get a new cantrip. M mending also like you can use that during downtime for you know some other stuff. Uh, some other things I can also say about board. First of all, uh, Kuro, <laughs> how would you react to the fact that now Damocles is with you? <laughs> Damocles is Damocles, Damocles essentially informed you all that the whole trap thing was just to fool his creator so you could disconnect himself from the system that is whatever this whole building, this whole ruin is. I guess I'll take the average. I'd imagine Kuro kind of sees it like he does um, uh, people like his patron. Like, I'll, I'll work with you, but I'll get to you when I do. Take the average. Yeah. Uh, so, what you miss, Kuro, basically, uh, he made a deal that the whole floor is basically uh, the whole floor is automatons are ours for the taking, no matter what. And Mun laid claim to the whole floor, which is funny. <laughs> and Mun is now apparently about to go off and fight the king of the gnomes. I mean, this this floor, okay. it, this matter will be held until this 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 campaign is over. But Mun will be talking to the damn king about laying claim to one floor for Undermount. Okay. Under your mouth. Yes. I own one piece of land in your home. It Howdy. is an embassy. It, it is an embassy. Thank you. <laughs> okay, I'll put that in my notes. Munz well, is crazy. <laughs> not only that, but it's it's the jail room. It's the jail floor. Yeah. Specifically. Uh, Specifically. Holy shit, he's Speaking of the jails, what would you the do money. with the majority of the prisoners? <laughs> um, well, I mean, I already discussed the reasoning for, like, you know, the saviors or, like, the, the force guardians. Like, just uh, let yes. them go and see what happens. Uh, if you were to let them go, uh, actually, with Evie dead, can any of you see? Actually, yes, Velo, you can speak Elvish. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you would be able to, due to that, you can actually talk to these Guardians of the Grove people. Uh, they would be a bit scared, but as you let them out of their cage, cages and bring them back to the surface, they would they would kind of recoil at the sun for a bit because they had been down there for years. But they would eventually look out, take in a big breath of fresh air, and all look at you, nod in thanks. And then, if none of you stop them, they would run off into the distance. <laughs> yeah. Should we be stopping them? In the end of it all, all the now. professor is kind of a good-hearted person. Would you? Uh, would you? <laughs> <laughs> what would you do with the? What would you do with the rest of the prisoners? On, oh, I action. mean, rehabilitation, pretty much. Uh, hmm. The professor would be highly against executing them. A question to Mund, Baylor, and Scarlet. Do any of you speak deep speech? I do. So, wait, okay, so Mund and Scarlet, you speak deep speech? Yep. Yeah, I fucking learned from last time. Okay. <laughs> Then you would actually be able to talk to some of the inmates. Uh, if you remember those dog-like brain creatures, they would mm. talk. They would talk to you and be like, "We were once human. 
we got turned into these things. We really hate our lives right now. So either kill us. Oh, so either kill us or find a way to fix us, please. We beg of you. Uh, I'm, I'm going with the first option. Uh, okay. They will gladly surrender themselves to you and let you kill them. Uh, like the spectator. Uh, the spectator that was exactly. that was imprisoned, he would, he would. No, I know under common. Sorry. Oh. I know deep speech though, so it's fine. I'll okay, translate so, for you. Okay, so, well, Scarlet translates, and if Mond, you still wish to do this, they would gladly just let you murder them. Uh. Yeah, um, I mean, Z Zara wouldn't really. Zara wouldn't approve, but he won't stop into. Uh, the other creature that can speak deep speech. There was a spectator that tried, uh, t tried to talk into your minds. Uh, Scarlet, you would be the only one who understands. He was essentially ranting on and on about the end times, how he foresaw that the world was about the end. He Essentially, he was raving like a madman behind his cage, and if you refused to let him out, he would just shoot laser beams from his eyes, but they would not go through the jail. Well, if you're gonna act like that, then I'm not gonna deal with you. I'm gonna let the rest of the party deal with it. Okay, so, uh, assumingly, you would just leave the spectator behind in his cell? <laughs> I mean, that's up to the rest of the party. She ain't dealing with this shit. Are you telling Professor about it, though? Telling anyone? Anyone who wants to know. The professor would want to know, so he's gonna, she's gonna execute him. Oh, I, I, I help. <laughs> Execution. Okay, I won't have you roll a fight because, honestly, you guys could easily take on a spectator. <laughs> Just the two of you, and you do easily. It gets you a couple times with its blast, but you manage to murder it, this creature easily. Uh, the other things. There were these blinds of flesh-like abominations that... There were these blind of flesh-like abominations that only really noticed you from hearing you, uh, there was there was these uh, things that had like implanted claw arms on them. There was in one cell, you would think there was nothing, but when you look closer, there seemed to be a gelatinous cube of acid in just one of the cells. Yeah, that's fucking bad. Uh, <laughs> yeah, most of those will be executed. Okay. Uh, I don't want to touch it. Uh, mm. Another another one was. Uh, actually, actually, Kuro would remember this one. It 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 was a floor of that looks to be made of flesh and bone that would form up into a creature of a bunch of shivering mouths. Mm, yep. <laughs> Executed. Yeah, to uh, say that you were good intentions and that you didn't want to execute a lot of them, you were executing a lot of prisoners. <laughs> uh, <laughs> they're sapient and they want to live. They're living, but. There was the there was a creature that disguised itself as a child. <laughs> what would you do with that one? Execute. execute. That one's immediately executed. <laughs> yeah, we're not having any of that. Executed it as it was in its child form. Sorry. <laughs> wow. That's okay. I child. think Evie would have tried to shoot you if you did that. Kill that dead. child. Uh, uh, and there's no way of identifying what the fuck it is, then it's getting executed. Yeah. Uh, and the last creature. And the last creature was a... It was kind of like a centipede-like creature. Uh, you would read in the books, it was like... It was something that feasted purely on on undead. It seemed to be like a carrion of some cre oh, some kind. A carrion, yeah. carrion feeder? Yeah, it's fine. It's that the natural creature, let it be. Any of us undead? She's no. a corpse eater. Oh, go. feed it, Eevee. I'm not I, undead. Don't I feed it, Evie. What the fuck? No. What the? F <laughs> I will point out. The body somewhere. Hell I will not. point. I will point out. Oh, it is a lot. It is a large carrion eater. So it's not like your average size carrion eater, but it will not. It will not fuck with you if you do not fuck with it. So if you no, decide to just let it go and burrow underground, it will just go off somewhere. <laughs> it might just, even end it up. It will probably try to point. eat Evie if we haven't not fucking buried it yet. We'll the one that looks like a child, kill it immediately. 
Can I, can I try to turn <laughs> that in quotes? Handle that fucking, Put that, that in quotes leader? now. Hold on, hold on, hold on. One, one at a time. Month? What, what, what were you trying to do? I'm gonna try to. I'm gonna try to get that thing to fucking stay here. Uh, make me an mind. what? What? Make me an animal handling check. <laughs> wait, wait. Aren't you? Wait, aren't you? Eighteen, a motherfucker. Yeah. Yeah. This is like a natural pet for you. This is a natural thing for me, mother. <laughs> uh, one second, as I. Uh, okay, I I was not I was not expecting this. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, it's a corpse eater. He's a fucking dwarf guard. It's like a pet for him. Uh, congratulations, you have tamed this creature now. <laughs> Tobias. Oh god. Tobias. We're just gonna have a constantly escalating pet war, aren't we? No, this thing can hey. stay up here. Okay. Sorry, they don't are, really want to try again. These are, dragon. This is not my pet, this is my property. Big difference. Uh, also, thing. also, uh, as you were as you were explore exploring the prison, you would eventually find a random chest that was just there. Upon closer inspection, it turned out to be a mimic. You killed the mimic. It was holding in it a potion of fire breathing and six hundred gold pieces. Yeah, so swords? Is this sword that I picked up? Oh, right. Yeah. The other things. Here are the benefits That's you gain from Damocles and his well pet. The coffee dragon, if you take time with it and try to and try to actually befriend this creature, the coffee dragon itself can uh, one second. The coffee dragon has a natural armor of fifth of fifteen. It is a small dragon. It can only speak draconic. It has HP 38, 60 feet of movement, climb speed 60 feet, fly speed of 60 feet, an 8 in strength, uh, 14 in dex, 13 in con, 6 in intelligence, 11 in wisdom, and 13 in charisma. Uh, special traits of what this thing can do. Aura of alertness. Creatures within 60 feet of the coffee dragon have, an, have advantage on perception checks. The dragon and creature within this aura can't be magically put to sleep, this ability is suppressed if the dragon is under the effect of a slow spell. If the dragon... A, nice uh, ca a caffeine crash. If the dragon is affected by the slow spell, it also has disadvantage on all attack rolls until the spell effect ends. <clears throat> Innate casting... What I need to haste. Innate casting can cast haste once a day. <clears throat> mm. uh, it has a but. Uh, this is his bite attack. And so this what is I'm his hearing is we have found a crack dragon. <laughs> we found a we finally today. found meth. Holy shit. Uh, what is that <laughs> thing from, uh, from from regular show? That bean? Coffee, coffee. Sorry, coffee. Oh, I, know, <laughs> I hate that I know exactly what you're talking about. <laughs> coffee, coffee. Uh, uh, right. that, is, that is what the coffee dragon does. Uh, here <laughs> are... Here, oh, uh, here is... So the blade that the great sword that that Damocles wielded, this is what it was. It was called a moon sword. It does um, amounts of slashing damage and amounts of radiance damage. That was essentially what it is. Is this a heavy weapon or is it a versatile weapon? It is a great sword. <laughs> okay, I can't. I'm, I'm, I wouldn't have used it anyway. Uh, and this is his phantom knives. None of you would really be able to utilize this weapon, I will say. The Phantom Knives or the Moon Sword? The Phantom Knives. The Moon Sword, any of you can use it and attune to it, if what, you so choose. Why can't we use what the Phantom Knives? Exactly. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> none of you really understand how this weapon works. Kuro, Kuro might be the... Hold on. Knuckles. Hold on. Kuro might actually be the only one who can because he's a fighter. Fighter. Wow. Truck freak. Oh, he, uh, Truck he's crazy as, ass. Seeing as the fighter is using a great sword already, I'm gonna. This oh, well, to the, uh... hold, hold on to your horses, cause uh, we got some upgrades to die. Hold on to yeah. your bald and ah uh, yes. I was gonna, I was gonna say all yes. in favor for that 600 from the mimic just to go straight into camp. 
Yes, yeah, yeah, I was gonna say, that's going to catalog, no matter what. Okay, uh, speaking of upgrades, what upgrades do you wish for your camp? Blacksmith. I'll go with anything. Well, so here's the thing. <laughs> we can get legendary items now. Blacksmith. Kuro over here. Kuro over here just shaking. Fucking blacksmith. We can Kuro. get both. That's the thing. Kuro just shaking get the professor. The to the point where I can get magic weapons and armor. I swear to God. We we have more than enough money for to get it to level two, and also get the get a legendary items too. So. What, what do what you? What does the level two blacksmith do? Uh, plus, plus one, one weapons. Armor. And weapons. Oh fuck yeah! Wait, no. can't we already can't we already get plus one weapons? And no, no, clean no. Hold on, hold on, no. <laughs> My sword says otherwise. <laughs> My sword. Well, well yes, so you. Brother. Well, you yes. You need to buy the magic item vendor. Hold on. Yeah, we, we hold just, on. I'm in. I'm in favor chill, of chill. level three. Everybody, I'm chill. Favorite. Let me speak. God damn it. <laughs> no, no, Kuro. Kuro, your plus. <laughs> Kuro, your plus one sword you got because you made, you asked the camp to go buy it for you, but here's the thing. The plus one, from the blacksmith, all that stuff would be free. You would not have to pay for it. Okay, so hear me out. Would we be able to upgrade the blacksmith to level two in that case? Easily. To the we point where we can get plus two stuff from it. Uh, we can we can get both upgrades to the max, actually. Well, no. What, what I'm... Okay, you're misunderstanding. It the first uh, the first thing with the blacksmith is you gain the ability to get all simple martial, all forms of mundane armors and weapons you can get from the blacksmith, just at as a tier one. Tier two okay. is plus one is plus one weapons and armor. Tier three you gain the ability to gain adamantine and mithril armor, slash weapons. Yeah. Just hit. Hear me out. We probably can't even afford legendary stuff at the moment. No, we, we, we well can. Hold off. We can. Think? We're no. not sinful lights. We don't have 100k gold lying around. Well, no. Here's we... the thing. If you get the upgrades, then anything from said upgrades yeah. is free, because you put the money and oh, resources yeah. into the into the upgrade. You do oh, not have to. So you're trying to say yeah. we get free legendary magic items? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Basically. Oh, okay. I get However. That. However, hey. however, hold that, hold on, because if we don't upgrade the blacksmith, none of that can be armor or weapons. Exactly, that's what I'm Ooh. saying. We, we can afford both because, uh, hey, we have two jailers that we haven't well, done anything with. If that's the case, I'm willing to put more of the money that you split up into the camp. Yeah, I mean, uh, I, JC, how much, how much is the, uh, the jailers again? The two jailers? Uh, uh 2,500. Yeah, that's extra five k. That's more than enough. And don't forget, you also need scrap. <laughs> Gold yeah, will we not have a lot of scrap. <laughs> True, I did give you a lot of scrap. <laughs> we have a lot I... of scrap. I have made my mistakes, and I am living with them. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we fought things for these. Also, spill blood for these. It, it helps that Professor kind of doubles our earnings pretty much. <laughs> Uh, I am, in fact, the Antiquarian. Okay. Uh, oh, we, oh, we can afford the level 2 dude. on the... The level 2 on the, uh, the Smith, and the third level on the... On the Magic Wonder. Okay. I will... Uh, GC, GC, what level Blacksmith do we have to get for, like, plus 3 weapons and shit? Uh, the Blacksmith cannot go up to plus 3 weapons. If you want anything yeah. above plus one, you go to the enchant. You go to your wizard for the magic upgrade. For the you go to the magic shop essentially for those enchantments. Okay, so what I'm hearing is what I'm hearing is is once we upgrade the blacksmith to the plus ones, then we can take those mm -hmm. weapons to the magic shop that we're also upgrading yep. to upgrade mm -hmm. plus twos and plus threes. Exactly. Yeah. Yes. So now you're Perfect. getting it. Okay. Cool. Uh, well, I, I am proposing. It's a little. It's a little contrived, but I get it now. <laughs> well, I, I am proposing that we ignore the third level of Smith for now, so we can upgrade the uh, Apothecary to third. 
potions. <laughs> I, is, I, I, is, I, I, I can no. I I kind of second that. I kind of second that. All right. Yeah, I know. Because... What is what does the apothecary level three do? Uh, legendary potions, which right now there's Storm Giant Strength, Giant Size, and Dragon Majesty. You can become dragon. Okay, yeah, I kind of agree with that. That cooks. But like <laughs> better armor and legendary items. Well, I mean, we can we can get the better armor and weapons minus the legendary items, or we can get the better potions and the better armor and weapons. Yeah. Uh, gr granted, all of you guys benefit more. Yeah. I'm the only one that doesn't really benefit from better armor. To be fair. Literally, I literally, mean, yeah, I. Literally. <laughs> so, I I cannot stress enough that the amount of magic items that getting the upgraded blacksmith opens up for me is so exponential. It's not even funny. <laughs> yeah, the, 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 the I'm also looking at some crazy magic item combos. The tier two like, I'm not talking about combos. I'm just talking about using them. I can't I will, use a lot of fucking. Uh, I will. I exactly. I, yeah. Yeah. I will remind everyone. You only have three attunement slots. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, don't. And I already am using two. Slots? Everyone has three attunement slots, but you can only. Oh, okay. 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 Let, so, let's think. Let's let's think about this. Uh, Professor, I think I think level. we should get I think we should get the legendary and the level two blacksmith, and then uh, we yeah. the next one can be the apothecary that money, man. because yeah. No, no, we still have enough money for the apothecary. We can get all on top of the level three. Uh, yeah. Really? Yeah, we have sixty k on the bank right now. Fucking Christ, man. Yeah, dude, dude, I like we kept bringing back things whole. So I have so much shit. If I if I sell that golem, we can buy another like tier three, which I'm not gonna do that because that that one's mine. Uh, can I just confirm? Do we get uh, like sixteen hundred from each? From Imagine that? needing to like yeah. have a separate golem. Yeah. And uh, can I get access to this the catalog, please? You see? Hey, you you get you, the, you get a pet golem. You should have mm -hmm. access to the cat. To be honest, the catalog all it does is track the part like the parties. Full amount of scrap slash gold. That's all the catalog does. Yeah. Uh, I don't. Also our current upgrades. I, I have. Yes, yeah, so I. If we if, if we have a level of magic items, we could just buy any magic item from that. It's not yeah. buy. We gain one. Yeah. Per week. Okay. okay. I said. Uh... Well, okay. Here. Okay. Here's how it works. Essentially, with the apothecary and the magic items shop for the apothecary. As of right now, you're you have upgraded to you can gain four potions of you you can just gain four potions just straight up from the magic from the potions from the apothecary of any mm -hmm. type of any like rank that you have for the mm -hmm. magic shop altogether you can gain a, you can gain six magical items one for each of your party potentially party members potentially. Mm -hmm. Or you can stack up on one person. Which we're not going to do because we're selfish for that. Exactly. <laughs> yes. And that's once another, another... a week. And that's once a week that you can do that. I will also point out to the newer players, Munt and Baylor, you two will gain a week of downtime having completed this floor because between each floor, you get a week of downtime to do whatever it is you want to do. I'm in that so week. Excited for this. I already have big plans. Ooh, can I go? I'm, 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 I, I, I might be able to go speak to the king in that week. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Let's see how it is. Real. Let's, okay, let's talk costs. Let's talk costs. You already know what you want. Uh, it's gonna be 15k for 15k for the fucking uh, smith. It's gonna be 15k for the. Magical vendor and 15k for the uh, the, po the apothecary as well. <laughs> Anyone keeping track of this, or am I supposed to do this myself? You wanted me. You want somebody else to do it? I didn't. I thought I, I was the same and you were. I thought you were the nose taker. <laughs> Says everyone in the party. Listen, we, listen, we all have brain damage, okay? Listen, <laughs> I got punched in the head a lot. All right, what what what's <laughs> the last thing you need? This wasn't me the last time, so I, I hate this. <laughs> what, 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 what's the math you need? 
Uh, okay, the total cost is 5,000 gold. And... I'm doing this for a second. I can do it. I can do it. What, what are we subtracting from the 60,000? I, I got it. It's too late. It's already been done. Uh, four, there we go. It's like 15,000. So, so oh, as far oh. as new oh. places that I need to now... Now add to the camp. I need to add a blacksmith. Got it. <laughs> Real. Uh, additionally, we still have some leftover scrap and money. Save it. What are you thinking of doing with that? Uh, the the reconstruction. Yeah, it's either the museum or the reconstruction center, because we now have mm -hmm. that unlocked. What do those do? Well, museum is passive income. The reconstruction center is for automatons, and the the museum game gets us money. It's just passive, passive income over time and reputation. I mean, we could definitely do the museum then. Passive passive money on top of the amount of shit we're already pulling in—that would be fucking wild. Yeah. You, you spent five k too much. Ooh, got him. Oh, well, it's fine. Real. Oh shit! The bunny had a point. Could have just turned the prison into a zoo. <laughs> uh, I, I guess I'll, I'll reduce our money then. No prison embassy. There's now a sign on the door. Property of <laughs> my <owners>. house. <laughs> <laughs> my house. Get the fuck out. Uh, you damn immigrants. Looks oh over the mud. Looks over the mud. Starts debating. Just like that, the racism is back. <laughs> <laughs> we thought we had left it with Marvin, but now apparently we're about to start a war we're about to start a war with the kingdom of Haya in Zanzibar. I didn't I didn't think this would happen, but it's gonna happen. To stroll in Why do we here have... as sinful lights have... and then have to deal with the war that we've started? Why do we have fifty K scrap by the way? I don't remember. I eat it. <laughs> I pooped it. I I done shitted. I personally do not remember. I just remember giving you the 10k from the, from this one floor. So that should be the I, only scrap that you added, unless you're counting, and unless you're unless you're deconstructing some of the uh, some well, of the jailers to to turn into yeah, scrap we, instead of gold. We deconstructed a lot of jailers before, and I'm questioning why we have so much scrap now. It's not cheating, it's called fudging. Real. I, I, I don't remember having this much crap. DC doesn't know that. I mean, yeah, I I'll admit, I wasn't yeah. keeping track of your gold and scrap. I was hoping you guys would womp take womp. care of that. Hence why I gave I you the catalog. Track of, I was keeping track of the money. <laughs> why do you have so much crap? I... I don't know. You should not have that much scrap. Have a scrap money gang. Uh, uh, I'm, I'm, just gonna reduce the money gang. Uh, I'm just gonna reduce the scrap by one. Shadow with the money gang. Love casting spells. Sense. Bro, don't even get me started on that theme. Why, uh, what the what the dog do? This song is sponsored by the Shadow Government. Uh, I will. Nah, okay. bro. I literally have a party of all. JC, <laughs> does this make more sense now? Oops, all wizards. They uh, literally are the Shadow Wizard Bunny Gang. Uh, okay. Uh, yes, it should. Yeah, that looks that, that looks about more right, honestly, for what you should have. <laughs> um, I looked over and we have fifty k scrap, huh? Yeah, you should Ooh. not have that much scrap. <laughs> scrap is hard. Uh, possibly Marvin as his last arc of Devi defiance before he got Marvin, killed. Marvin, you Marvin. Marvin, who is currently somehow, somewhere in Haya, is currently looking for something. <laughs> uh, well, okay. We still have, we still have, uh, 29k and 4,000 scrap. We, we can, we can grab some, another thing. So, we sadly do not have enough money for the museum. You have other 
options at your disposal. You can make it yourself a church. So, GC, I have a question. You could use a church. We can do a church. Uh, yes, yeah, Sponge, what is your what is your question? Wait, how about not the advertisements uh, center? Sing it too. Say, if we get a magic item, right? Mm -hmm. To replace a current magic item, mm -hmm. what do we do with the current one? Well, if you're the replaced yeah. item, the replaced item, you could sell it if you so choose. If you no longer want it. You know, the first well, thing you could. I'll do it. I have to do something. No worries. Hmm. You could sell it if you don't. If you no longer want a specific magical item, you can always sell it. And since, well, wait a minute. <laughs> yes, I'm waiting. <laughs> Say, Baylor. Yeah. Does your um. Does your weapon attacks go based off of strength? Uh, one of them does. One of them goes off of that. Is that is that the sword? Yeah. And is that a finesse weapon, like its dex or strength? Yeah. But uh, I've I've like uh, stat dumped dex because okay. that's also my AC. What's your dex at the moment? Uh, Sixteen. Okay. Yeah. No. Um. So he, what I'm thinking, right? I'm thinking of because we're about to upgrade to legendary items, right? I'm thinking Storm Giant Belt. But because I already have a Fire Giant Belt, I could give you the Fire Giant Belt. And you could get a different magic item uh, to focus on for now. Yeah, I mean, it'd just come in handy with staff hits, but I mean, there is... Well, because that would, make your, that would make your strength plus seven. So that effectively doubles your modifier for your weapon. I, uh, I may as well, because I've got three empty attunement slots for now anyway. But there is items that are going to be better. Looks at that headband of intellect. How Baylor wants it so badly. <laughs> yeah, oh, dude. Head headband, adamantine, half plate. Oh, how I want something that makes me do electric uh, thunder damage. Yes. I will say, you all have essentially by next session I will expect you all to have leveled up to level 6. Have decided I'm on... Done. Oh, I'm already done, buddy. Okay. Yeah. Okay, yeah. well, level up to level 6. Uh, then I also expect you all to have... If you are having a magical item, have decided what that is, and also, uh... Let's you don't do have it, to... Right? Uh, well, it's it can be essentially you can do it at any rarity that is not artifacts, <laughs> because artifacts mm. is a completely different story. <laughs> yeah, that that's a whole nother fucking ball house. Yeah, it's no, the like highest a, a table of all the legendary magic items. Oh um, my! I do. I want, I want to I find do. the Vorpal sword. Okay. Yeah. I want to. I want to grab his dick and twist. <laughs> you know, I yeah, am surprised. I am surprised that... Is Kuro going to go for a Vorpal Sword? Is that what I'm hearing? <laughs> what what le what legend... Or what rarity is the Vorpal Sword? It's, a, it's an artifact. Oh, never oh, mind. Okay, well then, yeah. I'm pretty sure it's an artifact. Yeah, well, I'm not, I'm not, no, no, it's legendary. Thing. No, it's is legendary. It? Uh, yeah. Plus three uh -oh. bonus to attack and damage rolls made with this weapon. In addition, the weapon ignores resistance to slashing damage. And you attack a creature that has at least one head with this weapon and roll a 20 on the attack roll, you cut off one of the creature's heads. The creature dies if it can't survive without the lost head. A creature is immune to this effect if it is immune to slashing damage. Uh, it doesn't have, a, it doesn't have or need a head. It has legendary actions or the DM decides that the creature is too big for its head to be cut off with this weapon. Such a creature instead... Takes an extra 6d8 slashing damage. Jesus Christ. Yeah, Vorpal Blades are kind of busted. <laughs> <clears throat> you know, I was I was looking at some bullshit armor, but that's a little spicy. Hey, question. Yes. Mm. 
Uh, you know that uh, they belt the strength you got? The fire giant, yeah? Yeah. If I want the hammer of uh, thunderbolts, it, it, I kind of need that belt. Okay. Are you seriously? Yeah. <laughs> You're seriously going for that <laughs> build. You're getting the Gauntlets of Ogre Power, the belts, and the hammer? Is that what you're trying to go for? Oh, oh god damn it. I could. See, the, problem, the problem with that, right, is that that would require me to change out the belt for a better belt, right? Which means yeah. I can't get the fucked sword. <laughs> yeah. Decisions, decisions. <laughs> decisions. Um, oh, unless uh, someone wants to sacrifice their magic, what, magic item, but I don't think that's going to happen. Uh, I, I could try to find something else that gives lightning damage. I'm just trying to find...